How's it going, everyone? Welcome to Pan Geekery Podcast, a live weekly video podcast celebrating all things geek from an all diverse perspective. We're going to talk about film, TV, video games, books, uh, covering all the nooks and crannies of fandom. Uh, and w- when I was a child, I thought stupid was a bad word. I have no such hang ups now. <laughs> Fuckity fuck fuck. Walter's mom is listening. My to mom this is podcast. watching, guys. Sorry. Yeah. Well, so is the rest so. of the internet. So. Yeah. <laughs> Look at all their moms. <laughs> no. They're watching too. Moms of the internet against Pan Geek Reef. Hello, I'm Jen. I am an actor, writer, uh, artist, whatever, immersive, in, uh, immersive theater enthusiast, and performer. And. Um, Fun fact about me, what did I think was a bad word? Oh, once upon a time in fifth gra- uh, fifth grade. Fifth grade. Fifth grade. Oh, I, 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 I skipped that class. In fifth class. grade, I was heavily bullied. So um, some people were making fun of my- Wait, like, that's a fun fact? Oh, yeah. It, it gets funner, <laughs> believe okay. me. And then, uh, you know, people were calling me Dolphin Jennifer for some reason. Like, everybody at the table was just like, Dolphin Jennifer, Dolphin Jennifer. I don't know why, but it just got so overwhelming that I said, shut your mouth. And then people went like, oh. And they all just like went silent. They're like, oh, my God. <laughs> she said, shut, shut your, your mouth. mouth. She said the S word. <laughs> And then, and then they told no. the teacher on yes. me. They're like, she said the S word. Is that like, that's weird because that would be like, shit your mouth, right? <laughs> <laughs> shit <laughs> your mouth. I wish I said that. Don't shit my hobby. Teacher is probably. Don't, <laughs> don't shit me. Wait, like, I, I, I want to know why, they, why were they calling you dolphin Jennifer? I know. I don't, Wait, is it I the way you know. laughed? Did you sound like a dolphin? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I'm not sure. That is so sad I know, and weird. So, I, know. I know. Well, there are worse Children things. are sad and weird in general. <laughs> Anyways. Oh my god. <laughs> Jeez. So, Sorry to all the children out there. Sorry. My name is Caitlin, and I am your third Pan Geekery host. I am a writer, a director, an actor, and a singer. And fun fact, I was born with an Audi belly button. You guys know all about that? Yes. Where the, the navel sticks out? Mm-hmm. Yes. And then somewhere along the way, like around... I don't know, 12, 13, what? it turned into an innie. Whoa. Yeah, like is my that scientific? Navel, Push it in? No. How is that scientifically possible? I don't <laughs> I know. know, but all my videos and VHS tapes, you know, when I was a kid, the the belly is out. Like the, the flesh, <laughs> the, belly is, button. the button is okay. sticking out. And my brother and my friends used to always make fun of me. So I know I had an Audi. And then somewhere along the way, it inverted itself. Did like your, it caved in. It happens. Did your, it, yeah. does. it does. Or I don't know yeah. why though. Your it stomach just caught up. Me, I know. <laughs> oh, that's right. You so have an Audi still. I haven't been Audi raptured yet. Yeah. The, the, the stomach Audi just caught up the to the Audi. Audi just yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, but then I, yeah, I thought maybe because I gained weight, but then I lost the weight. Still in any. So wow. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Mm. It was Look the up the biology behind that. Yeah. Maybe that Audi maybe your alien abductors just decide to maybe fix it. <laughs> the alien yeah. abductors like, oh, I forgot how we found her. Uh, <laughs> I just hide the it. Hide the it was God in. damn it. <laughs> anyway, they didn't try as hard with me. <laughs> me or oh, Walter oh. first. Oh, Walter. Hi guys, I'm Walter Talents. I am your other host for Pan Geekery. I am a filmmaker, camera guy, martial artist, and just overall Marvel fan and comic book geek. Cool. And uh, fun fact, let me see. Since Hmm. I well, yeah, I was like, should I go with the any belly button what? or story or oh, okay. fun fact? I uh, I made my bully cry. So yeah, wow. that's about it. That's nice. a fun, that's a, fun oh, that's right. a story, story that you, you told, told us, us that one time. Well, we'll have yeah. to let's let's do that as an addendum. Yeah, without without violence. The, yes. I did it without I like yeah, without violence. Like and um, I would just like to welcome our guest host, um, our special guest host for today, Paulo Reyes. Yay! Yay! Howdy, 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 howdy. Thank welcome, you for welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, so you are um, uh, a fan of anime and cartoons, and uh, you run a, um, a Mario Kart tournament at Brewyard um, in Glendale. In Glendale. Yep. Nice. Yep. Wow. Cool, cool. Nice. What else? Uh, do you... uh, I'm not as accomplished as... Those around me, you know, congratulations. Oh, oh. yeah. <laughs> oh, be quiet, you. Oh, you. <laughs> Kicking me all this. That's the only thing you know. Kicking me all this. Gee, golly. Gee, golly, mister. But, uh, yeah, no, I just go around 
eating food, reading comic books, you know, just all around fat nerdiness, you know. Wow. So it's great. Yeah. It's a, I, I it's a great awesome. time. It's a great time to be a nerd because everything in right. pop culture is just amazing. Oh, totally. Agreed. Yeah. And fun those- fact. Going on belly buttons, I right. once got a pebble stuck in my belly button, Whoa, wow. and I tried to get it out with a rusty nail. <gasps> a rusty <laughs> Can't even oh be a regular nail. It had to be this a rusty nail. Yeah, I mean, it has to have this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you get a tetanus shot yeah. after? Dude. No, surprisingly nice. not. That was also the same day that I got chased by a 15-pound turkey. So, sorry, wow. but fuck turkeys. Hey, yo, no. <laughs> hey, for real, though? Dude, for out of real, context, though. that sounds so wow. funny. Turkeys are dangerous as fuck, man. Dude, Dude turkeys are, are fucking yeah, savage animals. Yeah. They're dangerous yeah. as fuck. Like, and that's why we eat them at Thanksgiving. Exactly, yeah, yeah. revenge. <laughs> it's it's, it's and oh just God. fuck God. birds in general. Yeah. Species yeah. war yeah. is what that is. is species yeah. wars? Wait, yeah. can I want to know. Species wars. I want to know why you were being chased by a 15 pound turkey. I know, what was the turkey's I didn't do anything. It was just my uncle's farm in the Philippines. Yes, the Philippines has turkeys. Um... And, yeah, my yeah. uncle just told us, like, oh, don't walk by that cage. That turkey's mean. No, some of them are territorial. Yeah, like they that. are. Oh. And, like, I was just trying to walk back to, you know, the main house, and the turkey just said, hey, fuck you, fat boy, and just chased <laughs> me. Oh, and no. you couldn't use your finger to take out that pebble. Like, you had to use a rusty. No, it We're was, going back like, to it the was pebble. in there. It was <laughs> in there. How about, twe- how about like tweezers? How, how about tweezers? I didn't yeah, want, like, or like all right, I was, like, seven sit-ups, years old. You know? I didn't want to get in yeah, trouble. Yeah, like crunches. Right. Yeah. You know, I didn't want to get in trouble and be like, hey, mama, look, I got a pebble in my belly button. How big was this pebble and how big was your belly button? I know. Well, I'm What are the details here? So the proof? I'm going to say that. Show it. Show it. The pebble was bigger than the belly button. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or provi- or prevented it from coming out. Exactly. How did that even happen? Like, were you just rolling around? Like, no, because I was, be, I was a he dumb was little kid. I was just like, experimentation. I was hoping you would just say that I just left it in there when I got it out five years later. It was nice and polished. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> like a pearl. Yeah, it's like, oh, it's this yeah. guy. Well, yeah. oh, it's right here on my neck. <laughs> With that story, I would like to <laughs> give a shout out to our sponsors, Jimmy John's. Uh, shout out for uh, to their $10 box lunch. It takes a freak to make a sandwich that'll make you freak. freak yeah. Also, um, so shout dramatic. out to uh, PwC, our location sponsors, Woo-woo. Filipino Workers Center. Thank you for hosting us here. Check, um, out, their, um, check out their website, pwcsc.org. pwcsc.org. Um, and with that, uh, if anybody is in the chat, uh, we see people in the chat right now, feel free to hit us up with some questions, and we will get to them before the end of the episode. Mm. Yay. Yeah. So... For this episode, we're talking about a few things. A few things are happening um, in the geek universe. We're going to talk about that uh, news, E3. Uh, we'll talk a little bit to our special guest, Paulo, here about what he does. Um, we're going to talk about stuff that's happening at E3, which is, is it next week? Is that yeah. next yeah. week? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, next week. So, mm-hmm. <sighs> crazy. Yes. Uh, we're going to talk a little, about, a little bit about See You Yesterday, and then we're going to talk a little, little bit about The Last Watch, which is a documentary about the making of the final season of Game of Thrones. Mm-hmm. Um, cool. That's all we got for today. And then we'll hit up your questions, so please uh, throw them our way. Um, first off, for news in the geek universe, G.R.R. R. Martin, George R.R. R. Martin, if you don't know who that is, uh, teams up with Meow Wolf. Jen, what's up? Oh my God, what's up? So uh, basically, the author, as we know, the ideal, the, uh, what do you call it, the visionary <laughs> behind Game of Thrones is going to be, what's his official title? I think his official title. World creator. Yeah, world, world creator. World creator at Meow Wolf. So Meow Wolf is in uh, New Mexico, mm-hmm. right? And is this um, art installation type of immersive interactive uh, exhibit for a lot of uh, artists. And it's really a beautiful spectacle and a lot of artists from around the nation even around the world have gone to Meow Wolf to experience what it has to offer and uh, what's interesting is is that like now that George has had Game of Thrones under his belt he's like this really big brand name right it's um, kind of a big deal now yeah, yeah, yeah deal. coming to like Grim. Meow Wolf which is known as kind of like a you know hipster indie kind right. of thing that's Art sort of collective. coming into its yeah. own and becoming <laughs> so i'm kind of interested to see like what this would mean um they do he, have several locations right Meow they're Wolf? going to start up several locations like okay. they're thinking of starting up one in like las vegas you know um starting up something else in uh washington dc and denver you know so um I am not entirely sure from this deadline article what exactly he's about to do. I mean, like, is he going to be 
Uh, well, I mean, he's world builder, but right. there are several different installations in Meow Wolf. Is he right. the main one for the entire Meow Wolf collective? Is it Game of Thrones just, themed? Or no. It's just his own it's gonna world. It's like It'll be his own world. world. Like they, they're right? asking yeah. to create like these new Seven Realms thing. Oh, oh. is it? Yeah. So it is based on Game of Thrones. Yeah, that, well, that's realms? what I read in uh, like I forgot. I think it was the Deadline article that. Oh, that, uh, so, so it's that Game of Thrones. Posted. Well, like they're asking him to make one that's kind of within like the Seven Realms and something new and something. You know, he, a little bit he's, of each. He's, yeah. he's created other universes as well right, besides yeah, the, right. that of Westeros. Yeah. Right. He's he he used to actually be a really big sci-fi writer, mm -hmm. and he had all kinds of different like worlds Skiffy? that he had created. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, I'm betting that yeah. it's going to be like uh, inst different installations right. inspired mm -hmm. by the worlds he's created yeah, for fans sense. that comes mm -hmm. to check it out. So road trip, y'all? <laughs> yeah. yeah. We were talking down. about it in the chat. Like really? I'm down to like RV out there. So yeah. Earl, you're driving. Yeah, RV yeah, across yeah. America. And paying yeah. for the gas. Yeah, yeah. totally. And it's going to be about seven uh, $700. That's great. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Great. Thanks, Earl. It will happen. I'm free. I have 700 expendable dollars. Who wants to rob a bank? Money. Um, <laughs> <get> my money. <laughs> Lots of it. Yeah. All that I'm like thinking about <laughs> now, though, is that. Or we'll just all, all yeah, we'll just all four of us will just have to go uh, amateur night and earn our money all <laughs> progressing know. through. Amateur night of like what? Wait, after I'm not stripping. What? Those days right. are behind me, or no. Um, no. Walter. No. No. My stripping days are ahead of me. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. Yes. Oh. That's why I was yes. looking at you in particular, tonight. Earl. No. Tonight, I I'm sorry, you. everyone. Hey. You remember that Chippendale <laughs> sketch with uh, Chris Farley? Y'all about to know. Y'all yeah, oh are about God. to know. He wears a bahag. With oh, the yeah. Swayze. Oh, the Swayze. See, we, Paul knows what's up, man. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was looking at you, Earl, as when I was saying that earlier. I can only... Uh, there like, you go. Oh, God, no. It's the cuffs and the bow tie, it's great. You got him started. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Yes. I can't stand up, Once guys. you start, you for can't those, <laughs> For those who couldn't see, Earl just launched into like a head-banging sexy that was routine. That. that was a Chris Farley <laughs> that dance. Was a, that was as far as we want to know. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I think I in a van down by the river, guys. In a yeah. van, in a van down by the river. J.K. Rowling is, <laughs> is down by the four river. <laughs> new Harry Potter books, Caitlin. Yeah. So, um, you guys ever heard of this franchise called Harry Potter? Nope, never heard of it. Harry Potter. Yeah. Harry? yeah. Harry? I don't know Harry if you guys Potter? have heard. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so there's this chick from the UK named <laughs> J.K. Rowling. And she had this really big series that like dominated the 90s and 2000s called Harry Potter. And, you know, since then, people have been screaming for more. Give us more. Give us uh, shitty Everything. plays. <laughs> did you oh read? Uh, did you read kidding. that one? That's why she gave, that's why she gave us Fantastic Beasts, right? right? Yeah, give us shitty well. <laughs> movies that nobody asked for about hey, animals. I'm just kidding. I'm I like kidding. the first one. The first one's the first all right. One the first one's all right. right. Yeah. yeah. That I couldn't second get one. through it. I couldn't even get through Not the first one. Not even the first one? one? <clears throat> yeah. Oh, even get the the first movie one. starts halfway through it's, the film. It starts like decent. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I mean, yeah. decent. Eddie the second one's bad. Main was the, the only thing to look at for that in that film for me. second one was sad. There's good news, guys, because J.K. Rowling is, she's coming out with four no. Four nor four new digital shorts. Right. Yeah. Um. So these are kind of like e-books, and <coughs> they are kind of like companions to the Harry Potter novels. Remember, um, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Those were based the off book. of like yeah. some supplementary material yeah, she came like out with. Mm -hmm. textbooks exactly. Or yeah. So she's kind of doing that again. Mm -hmm. And this time, the companion books are going to be Harry Potter. Um. Uh. Uh. uh, uh they're they're going to be like a Harry Potter, a history and magic. So. Wow. Wow, wow, Earl. Of a... So Girl, rude. Stop watching porn during our podcast. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to watch porn, <laughs> you might as well share it with us on the I big know, screen. Next time. Don't, Next don't time. be selfish. Anyways, um, hi, Mrs. Talons. Uh, so How do Max so work? the four titles are going to be Harry Potter, A Journey Through Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts. Mm -hmm. Harry Potter, A Journey Through Potions and Herbology. Right. Harry Potter, A Journey Through Divination and Astronomy. And Harry Potter, A Journey Through Care of Magical Creatures. Mm. So I think it's going to be kind of like mm. the textbooks that Harry, right. Ron, and Hermione were reading. Which was what um, Fantastic, Fantastic Beast was, right? Exactly. So I think it's kind of going to be like that. Four new digital shorts. Right. Why yeah. does it have to be Harry Potter, though? 
Like, why, um, why does it have to say Harry Potter? I, I think it might be. I, I don't know. Uh, it's for branding purposes. Branding. Yeah. 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 Yeah, but like, Instant we wouldn't money. know who J.K. Rowling was if it didn't have it, you know? I, are you saying, like, why does why does the title have to have Harry Potter? Right, in because it? it's, like, not even part of the seven, you know? Because Daniel Radcliffe's not even in it. Well, <laughs> I, I, well you're, no, you're right, for branding purposes. And yeah. I think. Um, it, it mm. yeah for branding purposes because it's just kind of yeah. like comprehensive right. um, information regarding the world of mm. uh, Hogwarts and all that yeah um, so the first two books are going to be published on June 27th it's oh. coming up pretty wow. soon actually and I'll be in English French Italian and German at first but I'm sure they're going to expand yeah. to all the other languages we'll definitely get the Let's Italian read it in version French. did you guys read Harry Potter growing up yeah, uh, yeah. well I was in college by the time uh, they came yeah. out. growing up I was, I was back in the old days <laughs> in the old days I was a little older but yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I was already 20 years into the dot com industry. Oh, so, yeah. God. <laughs> oh God. Well, when yeah. I was getting into Harry Potter, um, th- my best friend at the time, she said, Did you know that the author of Harry Potter is a devil worshiper? Oh, oh no. She worships Satan. That's awesome. And, and that's was, your res- read it twice. Yeah. was your response like, Did you know? That I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, know. You know, I actually had a childhood friend who went to a church and said yeah. that church told them you have to burn, burn your, your Harry, Harry Potter, Potter books. books. Yeah. They would take them outside and <laughs> burn them. Oh my God. Yeah, it was like the dark burn ages. Burn the Harry yeah. Potter books. Yeah, it was insane. And were you like, okay, Hitler? Well, I, I, I know. wasn't part of that <laughs> whole thing. Um, it's like it's so money. funny because I, I was so I, I stayed away from them for like a year or two, and then I, I just gave in. And I introduced my dad to them. And my parents are fairly religious. Mm-hmm. And my dad's the biggest Harry Potter fan now. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. nice. So I said, hey, dad, what do you think about all those people who say that Harry Potter is of the devil? Mm. And he goes, are you kidding me? These are like kids' books. Like, calm down. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, all right, if my dad thinks it's OK, then it's OK. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Did you so take dead. him to Harry Potter land? Oh, not yet. Okay. We got to go for that. For honest. that like, th- these books are coming out on his birthday, so maybe I'll... Oh, like, Dad, yeah. how does it feel to be a devil worshiper? Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's great. You know you're worshiping the devil. All hail. Yeah. 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 All hail anyway. Baphomet. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, <laughs> since we're talking about things that are dark, Dark Crystal is coming out <laughs> yes. with a new uh, Netflix series. Um... If anybody hasn't seen the trailer, it's uh, an old Jim, Jim Henson property, mm-hmm. a movie that came back out in the 90s, and they're releasing a, uh, f- a series on Netflix that I guess kind of expands the world. Mm-hmm. I'm not exactly sure, because like, it seems like it's telling the same story but, as the originals, but we're getting a little bit more. So it's about kind of a, f- it's a fantasy world. Mm-hmm. Uh, everything is... Uh, in puppets, it's all practical. So shivered. Shivered you just said puppets. Puppets. hates puppets. puppets. I can't mm. stand puppets. I know. Gelflings and Skeksis. And yeah. Motion. Gelflings what is it? and Gelflings. Stop, 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 stop motion. Stop and motion. Ogre. Yeah, I think and Ogre. it's done well in a beautiful way. I'm totally Yeah, like Wes it. Anderson. But other than that... <laughs> Shivers. Or what about, like, let's go to a puppet show? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> or, like, like Kubo like, and, uh, what's Kubo's call it? great. Yeah, that one looks okay. Yeah, that yeah. one looks okay. I Love Dogs. Or, like, uh, That's what I mean. Wes Anderson. Anderson. Awesome. I loved I Love Dogs. So that like was Carl the one What I... about those old Christmas, uh, Rudolph? Oh, those, oh, I guess, are okay. The, what, what were those? Are those, those aren't claymation, are they? They're claymation. Those, yeah, they're claymation. It was, yeah. Oh, but those, yeah. those one are, yeah. that, that one's not that bad. So I don't which like claymations Gumby. do you not like? Oh, I, I think it's just Gumby. <laughs> no, it's, it's that Wallace and Gromit thing. Oh, Wallace no, and Gromit. Wallace How do you not out? like Gromit. Wallace and Gromit? Gromit. They're just so Gromit. smacky. Oh, they all talk like this, and it's like too much. Like chicken run, you guys remember chicken run? Yeah, chicken run. That looked okay. Chicken run freaked me out as a kid. I was like, what's going on? Because it was Mel Gibson in a chicken. Chicken. Okay. <laughs> I think that's rooster, why it freaked yeah. me out. Well, I mean, dark, oh. <laughs> dark crystal is freaky as hell. No, just, it is. Like yeah, that I mean, old one that. was really dark. It still traumatizes me today, but it is probably Jim Henson's like magnum opus. It absolutely there's is. There's like a Daenerys know? looking one on the side here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's yeah. the one everyone had a crush okay, on. You're telling me right. that these are not CGI. They're not. No, no they're not CGI. Yeah. What's yeah. funny is they look like porcelain right? dolls. It's yeah. like Weta or something. Wait until you see they a Skeksis. Muppets. They're yeah. freaky. Yeah. What's funny yeah. is nowadays Skeksis turned into like um, that one race in, uh, in World of Warcraft. Warcraft. <laughs> Oh, they Warcraft? do. Yes, Warcraft. Wow. Warcraft. Wow. And it's weird because they're wow. all slimy yeah. and the stuff. The Arcoan? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I forgot what it was. I forgot what it was. Yeah. This is all but French it was part of the me. Horde. 
Yeah, the part of the, <laughs> yes. You don't play WoW? I know. <laughs> I played WoW for 20 years. What are these, are these called? Quit. The bird guys? I used to guys? date a guy and I had to watch him play WoW for hours. Um, <laughs> I forgot. That's all right. That's sad. Wow. That's sad. Wow. Sad. <laughs> wow. That's anyway. Um, yeah, that's coming to Netflix soon, so I'm down for watching that whenever that comes out. That's a future single um, guy. Yeah, it looks cool. <laughs> looks super cool. Uh, no, he's always with a girl. Next up, Ooh. Death Stranding. We're going to yes! talk about this a little bit, like I think later on in E3, but for uh, right now, Walter, what do you got, man? Yes, Death Stranding is the latest video game from Hideo, Hideo Kojima. Hideo Kojima. <laughs> that was a weird Japanese Kojima. accent. Well, it's just like, oh, Kojima. 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 Going off the, guy, going off Korean, the Godzilla. Kojima. 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 <laughs> oh. sorry. sorry, Korean fans. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Uh, oh my God. Senor Hideo. Monsieur Hideo. Hideo. So culturally. I know. We happen to be all Asian, so uh, it's so all good. It's all good. Yeah, we're, break. Wait, we're all Asian? <laughs> yes, we are. Wait, I thought he was Mexican. <gasps> Shut up. Dude. <laughs> you know, <laughs> dude, mother is you know strength in gaming things are black, right? What? Yeah. From Straight the waist down. The last, okay, guys. <laughs> quick side note, side tab. The last podcast I got interviewed on, we were having some small talk before the recording started, and someone mentioned Earl, and they're like, yeah, because you know, like, he's black. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> they're like, yeah, black don't crack. That's why Earl looks so good, because black don't crack. I'm like, you guys know this, Earl's not black. Was, right? this, was this Samson? Yeah. This? yeah. What? They were uh, saying, I feel black like I've don't told crack. Him. I'm straight up like it's because you, cause <laughs> you guys, you guys shared a locker room. You were in the same football team. Right, right, right. right. That's oh. exactly what it was. So, oh. so, you, so, you so what happened in that locker room? Yeah. So I'm changing. Anyway, that's right. Sorry. 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 Sorry, Mr. Producer. I'm sure all you guys. Fuck me. Okay. Go on. <laughs> so Death Stranding is a new video game featuring um, Walking Dead uh, Daryl. <laughs> yes. Norman Reedus. Norman Reedus as the star of the video game, or at least that's what it looks like. Um, and it's, a, it's pretty much an all ta- all-star cast, and they're, it's just a weird kind of... I would explain to you the gameplay or the story, but after watching the trailer, I'm still not 100% sure I got it right. I don't think anybody is. No. Like, but I, there oh, is a, a baby involved in it that helps them like, see things or get involved with the upside down type of world. Um, it reminds me of kind of like even like Max, well, Max Payne where he's like okay. in the limbo world. And, right. But even uh-huh. with this one, you he can see through time. Like I think the haunted places, like locations have hauntings or memory stored in them. You Which know what is, I, I kind of think absurd. it might be? Yeah. Is like in my in the back of my head it's like it's kind of like the animus yeah. in in uh in Assassin's Creed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it might be something like that. And if you look at all the his past games like Metal Gear Solid also and all that or right. Metal Gear series, they talk about not just like the cyber human blending, but also like mm-hmm. the memories in lands or locations. Um because if you think about also like Japanese culture and Shintoism, mm-hmm. it's like mm-hmm. things have spirits and a like history, yeah. history and land yeah. and some so a lot of that th- from the trailer it looked like they had you know world war Two, world war one um you know like he was somewhere in between um realities and mm-hmm. seeing the past and um what's his name mickelson matt mickelson, Mads mickelson. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. seems like it playing a, Hannibal. um norman reedus's father uh, that's what i got from the trailer father, really oh, i see. think th- yeah oh conjecture I and see. so it's like but in some or or some sort of mentor figure that died or somewhere past, mm. and I think it's he's the one who's in the other side and might be trying mm. to pull him in. At least that's what I got yeah. from the trailer. Oh my god, there's so much I want to talk about this. Like, let me try to squeeze it in <laughs> to the time that we have. Squeeze okay, it in, babe. So Hideo Kojima, who made like Metal Gear Solid, I right. mean, he was like dishonorably like discharged from all of the titles in Konami, Konami. and right. yet this is his redemption. And you know, like if this looks anything at all familiar, the world of the gameplay, it's because it is. Mm-hmm. Like. Same they engine? basically gifted him the engine behind Horizon Zero Dawn and said, "Look, like we want you to make a game." Yeah. And, Sony like, have just your threw comeback. money at him as soon as yeah. like Konami this was like, "Oh, you're done." He totally deserves it too. Yeah. And it's like star-studded cast. There's like uh, Madeline, no uh, Maggie, Margaret Qualley, uh, Lee Sedo, Guillermo um, del Toro. Guillermo del Toro. GDT that is like making his appearance. <laughs> it's so crazy. Exactly. <clears throat> it's gonna be so great. I loved like on YouTube, people go like. So what is this about? And they said, Hideo Kojima, 
Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's all ex- the explanation we're going to get until so maybe great. E3. Right. Maybe. So, so great. I don't know. We'll see. I'm I'm excited to see if there's any going to be anything uh, come next week. So um, even though Sony's technically not going to be there, right? I'm sure they're going to release something about right. it. Right. We'll talk more. About they're going to have their own little mm-hmm. convention. <laughs> uh, so finally, uh, our final news item: Star War. Star Wars. Oh! Ah! He he always says Star Wars. We or, don't know why. Right. Like, well, I know why. It's because why? I was not educated. Fall? So what? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> no. Star Wars was. Uh, He's been doing oh. that. Yeah, Star Wars. Oh, Star no. Wars. Um, Star Wars. We believe in you all. <laughs> Star Wars. Here, here. <laughs> Star Wars. Star Wars. Uh, yeah. uh, Star Wars Land, the Galaxy, Galaxy's Edge, opened mm-hmm. um, this past week. Look Caitlin, that, look at that lucky any, uh, highlights there? Fuck. Yeah, I had them, and then I don't know where they went. Well, there's a Millennium <laughs> Falcon. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, also, I heard about because um, it seems like it's, everybody had like a, a pre sign up mm-hmm. for for this. They, like, they've been in production for this since like 2015, right? Mm-hmm. So it's been yeah. a good four years. They just launched on the 31st of May, so that mm-hmm. was a few days ago. Um, you have this thing where like they they've created their own like kind of full scale Millennium Falcon and it's like the only one of its kind in the world. Mm. So only. so wow. everyone's like tripping out about that. Sorry, can you talk Earl while I pull my shit? Yeah, up? sure. I um, have this ready to go. I don't know what happened. So some of the coolest things I've been seeing coming out of it is um the uh the custom lightsaber thing. That's yeah, that, that was another awesome. one. Yeah. Um and they did have a custom lightsaber kind of uh, workshop at um in in Tomorrowland, but this looks to be far more oh, um, so sophisticated. Official, so, yeah, mm-hmm. far more official. Like the the actual lightsabers that you can build look more like the old master replica ones and less like the uh, Ruby's toys. <laughs> so, <laughs> but they're also like two hundred dollars, right? Yeah. So yeah, do you yeah, have? Yeah. To, yeah. I wonder if you have, like you have to sign up and pay a, a fee or something. Or I'm not exactly sure. Uh, mm-hmm. All I re- all know is that um, they closed my favorite restaurant to build this place, so it better be <laughs> We've amazing. been talking about this for Or you, ba- you yeah. pay for parts. <laughs> you, you, pay for parts. you pay for parts. You pay for mm-hmm. like, the little kyber crystals and yeah, handles. like the casing. Right. Yeah. That's right. People have been collecting those little kyber crystals. They're right. like hot commodities yeah, it's, now. It's essentially you pay $200 and then you go through that whole workshop. Ah, so you pay $200. Yeah. You yeah. It's like so it's basically you buying your own you, like lightsaber. You get it. You keep it. There's like a droid building experience mm-hmm. where you can oh, build wow. your own droid and that requires some strategy. Also, like they've got like otherworldly food and drink from the Star Wars universe. Right. They have the blue, the blue milk. milk. They have blue milk. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Does it come yeah. in the right container though? Oh, oh. That's a good question. Can you suck it from can the teat? You, that's what I was trying to get. Teats and have it like alien boobies. I've got teat, Greg. Can you milk me? I want to follow the path of Master Luke. Oh no, I have some feelings about it. I feel like I'm not going to see this place anytime. Time soon, so no. I yeah. have some friends who have already gone, yeah. and they said that it was very impressive. Uh, they said that the the milk actually did not taste that great. <laughs> so I, I wouldn't <laughs> imagine it would. You know, if you're, is it flavor blue? profile? If you're lactose intolerant, can you still drink it? Is this blue I flavor? I don't like, is, it is it real? Kind of like yeah. Kool Aid was purple. I know. Yeah. 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 My favorite artificial color. I mean, flavor is blue. By the way, I love it. I don't even know what it tastes like. No, it's like. true, though. A lot of yeah. artificial blue things taste good. pretty good. <laughs> yeah, <it's laughs> like blue but isn't that just blueberry? Yeah, and blue raspberry is uh, what sugar. they usually say. Yeah, it's it's sugar. Sure. What's One funny is sugar there's no such thing as a blue raspberry, yet we always, right? Is we it always, it's always it with, blue raspberry. Yeah. But there are no blue raspberries. Anyways, fun fact. <laughs> <laughs> that and I used to have an Audi. Um, yeah, so yeah. They, they've got uh, Doc Ondar's Den of, Den of Antiquities which are filled with relics from the Star Wars universe. Mm, um, nice. There's like a bust of Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> <laughs> Dark yes. Jar Jar? Dark so Jar Jar, yeah. just deface that then. Yeah, exactly. Um, or I'm a best. Nisa, What's up, your man? Money. I'm a best. Oh <laughs> Still God. love you. Yeah, so Galaxy's Edge is set during the sequel trilogy. So what hmm. we're going through right now, I guess, yeah. on a distant planet called Batuu. So there's Imperial Guard Sounds helmets Filipino. from the original. <laughs> I know, right? It's only yeah. Bataan. Bata'u. Um, <laughs> Bata'u. Yeah, so, so, so all kinds of stuff going on there. Um, yeah, Jar Jar. Jar Jar. Jar Jar for life. Hashtag 
Well, hopefully, at some point, point yeah. we all get to go. Maybe as a group. I know. Hopefully. Somebody would like to sponsor Pen Geekly. Why? <laughs> this is talent. Disney. <laughs> right. Disney Barely themselves. sponsor myself. They <laughs> <laughs> sponsor me. Yeah. 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 Uh, but yeah I've, I've known people who like have worked on the set of building the Millennium Falcon. Of remember, like over oh, the wow. years, they've been like flying drones, and people have been like taking secret snapshots to see how far they've built yeah. you know, right. this world. Because yeah, yeah. everybody's yeah. been trying to sneak. A lot of the people only are way to get in is to see how much they've built. Right. Now they're done. I now think, yeah, open. I had There's one or two one. friends who got to the Millennium Falcon experience thing, and they said that it was really cool, like just being a like being a pilot, because you you go in as a crew, and there's a navigator, pilot seat, and whatnot, and you guys work together. Nice to yeah. do it. So I was like, oh wow. I, I'd be really down to go to this. Cool. Uh, there was yeah. what's the one? Is it Universal Studios? There was like a Star Wars ride that went on for a while. You guys remember that? Star Wars, right? Star Tours. At Star Tours. Tours. I think it was Star, Star Tours. Tours. <laughs> at Universal. At I Universal, so. yeah. yeah. Oh. I used to always get chills whenever I went on Star Tours. Star Wars. Star I don't Star remember. Star Tours. That. Wasn't it? It was Star Tours. Disneyland? Star Tours is at Disneyland. 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 Star Tours, Star Tours. Yeah. Yeah. is at Disneyland. Yeah. Disneyland. Yeah. Disneyland. The only Star space Tours. thing yeah. they had was Universal. Universal, Universal, had, yeah. Universal oh. had no oh. such oh. thing. Oh, my God. So, but, but there, Star, War, Star, Star Tours, Tours is, is Disneyland. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yes. I used to get chills every time I wrote in Star Tours. Star Tours Everyone just paused around the studio. and We're just like looking at each other. Sorry, Disneyland. Well, hopefully we all get there at some point sometime soon so we can all... Report on this place, um, yeah. first you know, first person, first hand knowledge. Uh, yeah. With that, let's get on to our main topic. Yeah. Main topic. Main topic. Main topic. <laughs> main topic. <laughs> Click in, boy. Get hype. <laughs> get hype. Get hype. <laughs> um, so, uh, hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Uh, if you all missed the first part of uh, the show, we have a uh, special guest with us today, Paulo Reyes. So what's up, man? How? Uh, thank you for joining the table. Well, thank you for inviting me. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Uh, so tell us a little bit about your geek background. What do you do? What are your things? What's your fandom? Oh, oh my God, fandom! Like, I know, big question, right? Yeah, what's I your know. first fandom? Let's start with that. Oh, first fandom? Yeah, would have to be Ultraman. Ooh. Nice. Ultraman. Up in Toku. Yeah. Are you a Toku guy, or just Ultraman? Ultraman in general, like what they used to show in the Philippines at like 5 p.m. Yeah. Okay, okay, right, right, right. right. <laughs> so yeah. yeah, yeah. So that was first, and from there it just kind of blew up to like you know, like. Uh, Mask Rider Black. Yeah, Common Rider. Common Rider, yeah. like the Sentai series. Mm -hmm. you nice. Know. And then comic books, pretty much I fell into because somebody handed one to me in the, in the school bus, and I was like, oh, I want to learn how to read this. You know, Like so, comics? I yeah, want to learn how to comics. read this. Yeah, because I was only like how old, <laughs> yeah. you know, like going to kindergarten. Or no, oh, not I kindergarten. See. You're but like, like really young. Okay. Yeah. And he's like, oh, my older brother gave it to me. And I was like, <laughs> an old um, Uncanny X Men. Oh, oh nice. nice. Oh. And it was the Chris Claremont years. Oh, and yeah. yeah. So, I mean, you know. Very formative for, yeah. like, X-Men in general. And yeah. it just, like, blew my <laughs> mind. Right. And, you know. Sorry for us x men -ing. <laughs> yeah. those, are, those are golden years. Yeah. Those were definitely Claremont? the golden yeah, yeah. yeah. Those were definitely the golden yeah. years. I mean, like, every all the stories that we see now being replicated in the movies came from that era. That era, yeah. So. Um, yeah, well, I mean, uh, what? But you also play video games. You're into that. I play video games, and I'm I, I'm, I'm an avid manga reader and like anime. Cool. Nice. Well, anime watcher, not so just those things that I like. Right. But right. then I know what you mean. Yeah. Are you sh are you shonen so shoujo? What do you watch? I'm more of a shonen seinen kind of guy. Nice. No, he likes Same shoujo. Here. Okay, <laughs> don't discriminate. There is one that's actually <laughs> there's, there's, there's like a couple of shoujo people good, like, but, right? You know, I, no. Mm, no. Uh, <laughs> Walter, what are you gonna say? Wow, what? Shoujo. So on. shoujo is supposed to be manga for, for girls. girls. Yeah. Yugi, but that was there's the a yeah. there's a big bias that a lot of the titles that end up becoming popular internationally are right. always for guys. Well, right, right. yeah, so, because that's the way they're marketed, and that yeah, and but it's, it's more. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. No, no, go ahead. No, no, no. It's considered like, you know, like like in, like in um for example, Hollywood, a lot of the big uh, action blockbuster stuff that is oftentimes targeted towards guys are seen as appealing to all, appealing to everyone. Yet right. when things end up being like for targeted towards women, they end up in the chick flick aisle or the right, chick right, right. lit aisle. That's fair. Right. Um, That's true. See what I mean? So sorry. For, Anyways. <laughs> so for Ranma or what is that one? Where? That's shoujo. I mean, I'm sorry. That's shonen. Yeah, yeah. That, shonen. But that, that one's like something that everybody likes. Like a lot of know? stuff that you, That's we grew up with <laughs> is shonen. 
Shonen, like for boys. Shonen literally translate <laughs> as for, for boys. boys. Yeah. Oh, yeah, wow. For boys. So wait, yeah. you said shonen? No, Ranma is shonen. Ranma is definitely. But shonen it's written by the... Rumiko Takahashi, who is a lady. Yeah. Yes. Or like banana fish, which so is that's all why there's, guys. There's a little women. bit of like yeah. that yeah. slant. You get like some of the the Gundam. There's yeah. definitely a bit of like a romance or like a. Um, yeah. yeah, but it's you but know it's, still it's, it's shonen. Yeah. Exactly, but, but it's I still very love that much show. <laughs> <laughs> which one? Run Gundam, Gundam Wing. Oh, Gundam, <laughs> Gundam Wing. Yeah, that's <laughs> very very shonen. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. but there's also like Gundam X. That was kind of shonen too. All the Gundams. Yeah. The best Gundam is Gundam G. Oh, G Gundam. Yes, G Gundam. I haven't watched it. It's the yeah. You'll enjoy it. There's, oh, en- for, there's for, Endless for, Waltz. Endless, endless Waltz. Waltz. That's which was, Gundam Wing. Was, was yeah, part of Gundam Wing, yeah. Um, yeah. What about, there was this anime called, his the main character was Tomahome or something like that. Oh, oh, oh. Again? Dude, that's for girls. Is, You're no, talking about Fushigi Yugi, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. That, that's, that's, that's girls, for women. Yeah. That's yeah. yeah. like, that was that, that played in the Philippines. They didn't yeah. have it here. Did, but I know it because my cousin That is like the prototypical shoujo. I mean, yeah, from like that time period. Well, Asians love stories about people who go back in time. And it's always a quirky right. girl who falls on her face and ends up in time, and like Dude. Yeah. ten no, princes fall in love with her. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. The, like the quintessential meet cute, meet like cute in yeah. like right. Japanese, like manga, and she's like so anime. She's so adorable and quirky. She'll, she's yeah. running down the street <laughs> with to toast in her hair, yeah. uh, or toast in her mouth. <laughs> yeah, 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 and she like runs into the dude, and the dude. Oh, senpai! Oh, is always this like callous guy. Yeah, and then he's like cool and stoic, and he has his own theme music. Dude, vision of Escaflone. Escaflone. Come on, ten. Yeah, Tenshi Muyo. Tenshi Muyo. Oh, but he, that's a harem anime. There's like ten it was, women. It, some could say that could have been the start of the whole harem genre. It totally is. Yeah. Homies, I mean, we, we are we going like full otaku right now. Yeah, so. sorry. No, 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 there's no harem. Yeah. For Tenshi Muyo, color. would that be considered... That's harem. No, that, oh, well, that's, that's, that's shoujo. That's shonen. That's sh- sorry, I keep saying shoujo when I mean shonen. It's shonen. shonen. That's shonen. Because okay. like, is, there, is there a word for both... For girls and guys, so it's like less like gender framed, you know. Not what I mean? necessarily, I don't but even then know. like yeah. <laughs> not yet. No, no, there isn't. Shonen. But then you have to you have to think about it in the, yeah. in the context right. of it's yeah. it's in their language. It's uh-huh. not it's not necessarily yeah. like it's like gendered language. Basically. Yeah, yes. it is. Right. Yes. If, if it succeed, it's shoyin. Yeah. <laughs> so there's sho- shoujo shoujo's for girls, shonen's for boys, hmm. seinen seinen is, is like seinen's older. for older men. Yeah. Yeah. That's what? actually my favorite genre. Seinen. Yeah. yeah, seinen. Yes, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then so like, like Kawa, berserk. Or, no, or not, not necessarily. Kawa, Bebop like, wouldn't really fall under well, that. Bebop's not, neither of those things. Bebop's just classic. But right. then right. there's a Nana, which is Nana. for older, older women. women. Oh. What's that one called again? I forget. Ah. Uh, Oh my god. So now you know, you know if right there's now. female characters and sex is involved, that's oh. probably right. for older women. Yeah. So they would they would shades of gray. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that then there's Yaoi, that, yes. which has like which is gay, <laughs> yaoi, gay, right. gay uh-huh. manga. Dujinshi. But like uh-huh. boy on boy. Yeah. Like grinder. BL but boys it's mostly for like <laughs> BL boys love. Boys love. But gay Moe. guys don't read that stuff. Right. It's, it's uh, all women. for women. Yeah. They get off on it. Yeah, they're called Fujoshi. Yeah. Wow. The Bishonens, yeah. Yes, the Bishonens. This is this has been a fun um anime expo is coming up soon. Reminder guys, buy your passes. I know it's a July 4th weekend. <laughs> right we might be there who knows um yeah. but uh before uh we move on you do run a game tournament at brewery yeah brewery yard brewery, brewery. 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 we run a tournament a mario kart 64 tournament nice. at brew yard right it's called brew yard brawls and we do it every oh, third shit. thursday of the month try to right. say that five times fast thursday. yeah thursday. wow you guys every third thursday, thursday. cool yeah. but yeah um it, when, when <laughs> it's a monthly mario kart tournament where everyone's welcome to come down join sign up we give away prizes we give away free beer what <laughs> kind nice. of free beer how do you afford that free beer mm, it's a tickets and like little you know drink oh like tickets. they win them yeah, yeah you win them oh okay, what, what kind okay. of prize what's the biggest gotcha, prize gotcha. you've given out uh the biggest prize we've, we've given out we raffled off a switch Whoa, oh my God. Bang rang, oh, man. Wow. Let's go, guys. Wait, you raffled it off. Not, right. It wasn't the so they winning. They didn't pay the raffle. They didn't win yeah. the competition. Yeah. Is there an no, arm wrestling win. tournament to win a Switch? I would enter. You know, just an for you, we'll do it. Oh, wait, so but what happens I'm, when you I'm, win the tournament? Okay. Like, oh, you know, <laughs> we, give, uh, we get away prizes. Um, Such as. So what's the Such biggest as. prize you've given yeah. for the tournament? Uh, well, uh, we used to give out these little... Um, Classic arcade cabinets, the mm-hmm. mini nice. cabinets. Oh, I know you're talking about. Yeah. yeah, and like you know, like Pac-Man, Galaga, like oh, all that stuff. Okay. And we also give away like drink tickets, courtesy of Brew Yard. Oh. You know, what's up, Brew Yard? And yeah, go check them out. Amazing craft brewery, like right there in the border of Glendale and Burbank. Wait, what street is this on? I feel like Western. 
wait, what's the cross street to that? Because I feel like I, I should know Glendale like the back of my hand, and yet I don't think I've ever been here before. Because it's right underneath the bridge of uh, the Western Bridge. Oh. Like on the border of Glendale and Burbank. <laughs> sure. Okay. Yeah, so like you have to like go <laughs> under the bridge is, and then is go into like, like a hole in the wall. Oh, okay, you have okay. to go into like an in- industrial uh, like area. Is it close I think to, I know the, what you're to Golden Yard, Golden Road kind of? Yeah, because I know it's Golden Road. It's down the street from Golden Road. Oh, okay. okay. All right. Okay. Have you been there? It's I've on that side of the tracks. Golden Road's cool. Yeah. yeah. No, it's further more towards like Burbank side. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, and we're I also starting a then. Mario Kart league, <laughs> kind of oh, like uh, like Overwatch league, but yeah, or more like kind of like a bowling league. Oh, got it. Got it. You know, just like Wait, pay to s- oh, sorry. Continue. No, go ahead. No, no, finish. like you know, pay into the pot and winners Got get it. the pot and Ooh. stuff like that. So you know, it should be fun. So come on down and check us out, guys. I'm down. So do uh, do- when oh. you guys start the tournament, do you like make sure they all drink first, or <laughs> <laughs> or you make sure you're to drink? It's a five drink minimum it? before you before play. you start. No, yeah. no, no, no I think I think you man. should. Like, no, you don't have to drink. You don't have to drink to play. Are you at any point going to start a Smash Brothers tournament? You know what? We have tried it before. The only problem is whenever people ask us for Smash. Yeah. They're like, oh my god, yeah, 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 do smash, do smash. We do it, nobody shows up. Really? What? Why Lame. is that? No way. I don't know. You guys got to show Why? up. We'll show up. We'll All right. Show up. I didn't request we'll for it. I'll show up to <laughs> smash. <laughs> Always. Whoa. Whoa. We did, smash, we did yeah. all Talking about the three game. versions, four okay. versions. The original. The original, uh, Melee, Brawl. Ultimate. And, and then Ultimate. ultimate. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. did all four versions. No one showed up. Like only a handful of people showed up. What? Wow. With same publicity? It was same crowd of people didn't even show up from Mario Kart. Yeah. It's just that not well, maybe the maybe the, maybe the Mario, Mario Kart people day. showed up like, oh, it's not Mario Kart. Maybe the yeah. oh, maybe the Mario no. Kart maybe people don't play Smash Brothers. They, I, I yeah, yeah, that there's, a lot. yeah, exactly. Yeah. So uh, we have a comment from the chat. Aaron Nabus. Aaron Nabus. Oh, from uh, the Hall H Show. Oh, what's up, Hall H Show? What's up? <laughs> uh, it says bartender is a pretty good slice of life manga. Bartender. So it is. Bartender wait, 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 is a really good. What's that good, one about? Is that about a, a bartender? It is literally about a wow. bartender, and he <laughs> just it's like, makes it's like literally just his life. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he comes that back. an anime about a bartender. He comes back from Europe and like winning this like bartending award like thing, and then he o- he opens up like a tiny yeah. little bar in Ginza. Like, he does big wow. slice Riveting. of life. He does. Yeah. does I he am do not flares? a slice of life. Does he do flair? Oh, dude, I just can't get into slice of life. Not gonna lie. Yeah. That's where I learned like that. I don't even. I, all right, I forgot the name already. But that spoon, that bartending spoon with the uh, twisty thing, yeah, yeah, apparently yeah. that has a name. Oh, a I'm sure it does. I, I don't even know that name. It's yet. called a dingle hopper. Ah, uh, oh. dingle hopper. He's just making that. He's thinking about that. That's that's from Little Mermaid. Yeah, no, it's it's a good one. You know. Right. It's Sometimes you just gotta hopper. unwind and not read explosions and boobies and just. But I love like exploding boobies. boobies. What else is there? Exploding what else is there to read? <laughs> yeah. What's life without an exploding boob? Whoa. I don't know, Honestly. but we're gonna uh, find out at E3, <laughs> which is next week. <laughs> so E3 is coming up next week. Uh, if nobody, if ever, somebody out there doesn't know what E3 is, it stands for uh, Electronic Entertainment Expo. It's basically one of the biggest trade shows uh, in the world for video games. Yes. So there's E3 here, there's Gamescom in um, Germany, and then there's Tokyo Game Show in, uh, in Tokyo. Tokyo. Isn't there also <laughs> GDC? GDC is more for developers. So oh. like it's, there's not like a bunch of... Um, and it's more a people. conference as opposed to like a trade show. Gotcha, gotcha. So, okay. Yeah, but yeah. Um, I don't know. I, it's, it sounds mm-hmm. like a bunch of cool stuff this is coming out, uh, Stadia. Um, is bec- going to become a thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, Netflix, for some reason, is coming to E3. I'm not exactly sure why, but it's just going to show up to everything. You know, yeah, expect Netflix be to be there. Probably going to, yeah, for the Death Stranding movie. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Wow. Oh. calling it, dude. That could be. I mean, it's an easy like transition from that yeah, into the, the movie. The actors are there. Guillermo del Toro is already in the cast. Yeah, he's so like, he I drag. make movie. I make movie for you. <laughs> just kidding. He doesn't speak like that. Wow. <laughs> I'll have kaiju in it. <laughs> he loves kaiju apparently. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Pacific Rim. Yeah. And uh, all that stuff. He's definitely yeah. a kaiju fan. Um, and horror in general. Mm-hmm. So. I'm I'm really looking forward to like them finally saying when the Final Fantasy VII remake <laughs> is going to be dropping because I'm just waiting on a date. It's like Christmas. Been waiting forever. Just ex- expect well, Christmas. They, uh, I actually posted a, an article to the Slack earlier this week, and it mm. um, conjectured 2020. 
Yeah, so see, it's going to be like next year or something. Right. Yeah. I mean, they said that last year. But I feel like yeah, I every Final Fantasy thing, yeah. they always like start they start marketing it like two years before right. it actually comes out. Yeah. Yeah. But they said something last year like, oh, it's going to be this year in December 31st. Yeah, but. And then they scrapped their whole it's like, like George R. R. Martin. And then. Like, Winds of Winter's never coming out, you know? <laughs> well, no. I mean, they've already made it, yeah, though, and they've shown out. you footage. And it actually does look better than before. Like, the new footage looks so much better than the What they showed us, like, trailer. three yeah. or four years ago. And they're ago. also yeah. splitting the game into three games. Right. Oh, they are. They're doing mm-hmm. it episodically, like... Mm-hmm. Oh, snap. Why wow. are they doing that? They just know they can get my money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. So, so they can sad. get more money. It's like, it's like trilogies, yeah. you know, in general. I but also, it. yeah. too, it's like... Um, I think they're just trying to break up the development cycle as well. Yeah. So and plus, uh, like, if they can divide it up, like, it's yeah. then it's in different, um, what it's memory wise, mm. it's not that much in one, like, whether they're gonna put it in a Blu ray or a disc or a download. So you'll really? just, it'll be broken up in packets. I mean, that's how it used to be, like, in on PS1, it was split into three like, discs yeah. as well, three or four, yeah, yeah, yeah. Final Fantasy VIII, mm. remember that? It's switch, switch a disc, yeah. So, why, <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> instead nine. of giving you the whole disc yeah, now, nine. they, you can, have to do, they like, can the give it to you in three different right. discs <laughs> at $60 <laughs> each. Oh my god, <laughs> oh, I don't think it's, it's terrible. Gonna, I mean, the thing that's good is when games are released and they're episodic, uh, the other episodes are usually like it's not a full $60 game, mm. so I don't Could know, it be hopefully, 55. <laughs> I know, oh, right? four Forty, you know, forty-five ninety-nine. Forty-five ninety-nine. Fifty-eight ninety-nine. Fifty-eight. <laughs> <laughs> um, so sixty-two. Yeah. <laughs> so there are a few like um, big companies that are are not showing up mm-hmm. at at E three. One of them being Sony. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, Sony. The other being EA. Mm-hmm. Even though EA, EA is in a lot of have, trouble. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, is it because the loot boxing? Yeah. Because of Anthem and how Anthem it and a bunch of other things. Yeah. I loved EA's, like, you know, Dragon Age, right. Mass Effect. <clears throat> Let's get some of that. No. <laughs> um, from the chat, Night- Nightman1 says, uh, that's a dope Goonie shirt. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thanks, totally Atan. Called it. <laughs> Called There's it, guys. There's more, like, yeah. caption on the bottom, there too. It says, yeah. do the truffle do the shuffle. Truffle shuffle. <laughs> I don't know if you guys want me to do it. Can yeah, you? Please? He's doing the truffle shuffle uh, on no. the shirt already. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not oiled up. It's also, not uh, uh, oh, if that's not oiled up. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey <laughs> there's a good one. There we go. Aaron Nabus in the chat says, anyone going to the EA show, uh, I think it's free. It is free. What? So um, let's go. EA is having, <laughs> I thought EA in, wasn't coming. Well, or in lieu of like uh, press conference oh, at the no. show, okay. they're doing uh, something called EA Play, yeah. which oh. is going to be party over the like the weekend uh, before E3, yeah. which is which this is this weekend, weekend. right? Yeah. So um, let's do it. Yeah. Well, you have to yeah. RSVP. I, I I put a link in the Slack. Let's do it. Oh wants. man, let's yeah, let's yeah. do that. Also, so, like, why aren't they attending E3? Well, because you know, they're trying to protest? do they're trying to do what Sony is doing, right. where Sony has the whole Sony experience, yeah. right. so, like, or the no, PlayStation we're not gonna experience, show up either. you know. But then, will that render E3 like moot in the future? Nah, well, I don't mean, know. I don't think like, so. It feels like Brexit, you know. Well, what I mean? here's like, the thing: it feels like they're all leaving the union. That, or they just couldn't afford the booth after spending right. so much money on Anthem. Oh. Because, <laughs> no, like, what about Well, here's the thing that happens like at E3 is like, uh, there's the public face of E3, mm-hmm. which is what we see the big booths and mm-hmm. like the press conferences and stuff. And then there's like the stuff that happens behind doors in E3, which is all the demos and all the, the actual interviews mm-hmm. and deals being made, people like networking. So yeah. all that stuff is always going to be there at yeah. E3. And that's primarily what it's going to be for. Like the actual industry stuff. The actual yeah. industry stuff. Yeah. But um, sometimes we don't see the, you know, we always see the outward facing thing. Like, I mean, Blizzard has not attended E3 in an official like, capacity for yeah, like for years. Know, yeah, for years. Oh, wow. Ever since that's BlizzCon, why, they exactly, started BlizzCon. That's why they have yeah. BlizzCon. Yeah. So um, I don't think it's necessarily. Uh, uh, like a death knell to E3. No. I think it's going to be still very mm. strong. It's um, That and E3 yeah. is very important to like the indie uh, indie game developers. Absolutely, Definitely. yeah. You know, a lot of them, like the last time that I went, that's where I was because I was just checking right. out all these like cool indie little game. games. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. You know, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's if not necessarily... Get in, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 always, it's always a good time whenever I go to E3. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm looking forward to it. I was drinking with the Mario Kart girls at the last time E3 I went to. Really? Oh, nice. Mario at the Nintendo Kart booth? Girls. Yeah. Humble brag. At the Nintendo <laughs> booth. Yeah. <laughs> the Nintendo booth. Yeah. Dude, here's the thing. 
I don't know if I can say this. <laughs> <laughs> Just say it. When the show floor closes, that's when the actual party happens. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Yeah. I was walking around E3 with like two bottles of Jameson. I was like, yeah. yeah. The bottles come out, man, like on the wow. floor. So, yeah, once the public is gone. And <laughs> I still couldn't get free stuff. I was giving them free booze. I still couldn't get free stuff. Oh, <laughs> it's hard. To find swag. free stuff. Like, I wanted a it. Mario hat. That's all I wanted. You know, oh. like ever since they started doing public um, access to E3, it's like swag is coming as started to become very scarce. Yes. Yeah. Scarce. 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 Star Wars. Star Wars. Star Wars. So, the Lion King Pokemon. Sarabi. 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 Scars. Simba. <laughs> Remember. <laughs> That's um, about to come out too. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Um, uh, how are we on? Okay, oh, cool. Shit. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Keep digging around, guys. Yeah. Well, Monster Hunter hopefully has a demo at E3. Oh, the new Monster Hunter? Well, the expansion to World. Oh. Right. Yeah. Well, dude, Capcom Iceborne. has been kicking ass lately. So, mm. Oh, they have. Since, I mean, with uh, the, the new Devil May Cry and mm-hmm. then the remake of uh, Resident Evil 2. Mm-hmm. Monster and, Hunter World. Yeah, Monster, Monster Hunter World and just the overall success of the Street Fighter series. Still. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know, right? Mm-hmm. But, I mean... Uh, they're still putting out stuff. And people are still playing the games. Is the thing. Oh yeah, of course. So well, they, yeah. they have like money making competitions. Like I knew people who competed like for money. Oh, on the Street, Street Fighter. Fighter. Yeah, yeah. On Street Fighter. Yeah, I mean, they, absolutely. With the tournaments, they yeah, do like, a good job and the yeah, the fighting game, game yeah. the fighting game community. Street Fighter Five and Street Fighter in general is just very huge. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. You know that's that's where they that's where they'll always have their audience. Mm-hmm. You know, but as far as like. Commercially, Capcom has found, uh, and I'm glad they're finally taking risks, and they're finding more success, and Monster Hunter World proved it by doing something different and new, Mm -hmm. you know? Because for a while, they were just making the same thing over and over and over again, and it was just like, "Hmm, all right, you know? I mean, and I must say that even their like the re-release of Resident Evil. Oh yeah, like, no, the was, remake oh, yeah. of that was amazing. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I really appreciate it as yeah. a fan of the franchise. It's like, and then just seeing the new graphics and just mm-hmm. the addition. I mean, even though it's sort of familiar, it's still great. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah whenever roommate, what's his name yeah. pops up behind you and you're like, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, Mr. X, yeah, yeah. My roommate has like nailed the art of speed running Resident Evil. And he was showing me, like, oh, I don't even have to fight this zombie. I could just, like, Run walk past right him. past him. <laughs> Wait, the original one? Or, or the... Uh, it's the remake of Resident Evil 2. Oh, I see, yeah. So it's the one with the better graphics. And, like, yeah. it's it's hilarious, actually. Because it also feels like one of those arcade-style uh, things. I never played Resident Evil, mm. so I'm just trying to make oh. sense of it in a post-Last of Us world. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. But, you know, it feels a little bit like House of the Living Dead, you know, those arcade yeah. games that you play kind in a thing, where yeah. you're just, like, gunning things down and walking through, and you're just a person dwelling in the world there's no further interaction i feel like in the story well i don't know somebody might shoot me down for that but you know i I feel like it's more of like just kill as many zombies as you can oh it's it's more like it's 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 more like survive yeah it's survive there's puzzles because even like the because if you kill every zombie, you're not going to have enough ammo. No, you're, you're not, not enough ammo. No. Yeah. And then you don't have enough uh, like room plants in your inventory. And healing, yeah. and you yeah. have to in control your inventory. your inventory. Oh, yeah, right. you have to mix the plants, like yeah. red, yeah. blue plants. And then you have, and to, you find have the, to find the to save. You have to find <laughs> the keys to get out. The medallions. Like, yeah. The medallions. Yeah. And, yeah. And, you know. and then the. Uh, and then the monsters the had nothing to do with children. the games. <laughs> aside from aside from the uh, that first one <laughs> was you know was decent, and then like the, the they kept on just the like the, the one with the Sorry. yeah the one with the tongue yeah, yeah. Uh, I forgot the, the name liquors of, the, the liquors. liquors there you yeah. go so even the liquors it's like they're really fast and it's like even you can't move because they mm. sense through sound oh and all that's that right stuff. yeah they kind of remind me of the clickers. Of right like from Last of Us because they also sense through sound and they do like the. You know, like sensing through echolocation, which is the scariest sound in yeah. the world. It's freaking, um, what is that, the grudge? Yeah, uh, it's a grudge. Yeah. It's a death rattle. Yeah. yeah. But that one's, that or one like Silent Hill with the radio. Uh, <laughs> what was that? Yeah. Silent Hill? Oh, yeah, one yeah, clicks, yeah, yeah. the other Silent licks. Hill. Just me on a Saturday night. I like Silent Hill. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I like the nurses in Silent Hill. Like, oh, yeah. The, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you hear the radio. <laughs> Dude, that was cool. No, no, no. Horror games are but, awesome. But Resident mm-hmm. Evil is kind of like the grandpappy the, of those. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's, it's <laughs> what, yeah. what started. So and like, Resident Evil 2 was the, oh, my God, they could do so much more. That came out years ago. 
the game? Well, We're having yeah. two sorry. separate conversations. Oh, sorry. sorry, I just want oh, to make, be able to focus no, on something. <laughs> well, it's, Resident Evil like... Three, like the video game. Yeah, yeah, that it's, was, they're on that like was seven like really now. scary. Oh, what's the one that came out a few years ago then? Uh, six, six. Yeah. Oh, my roommate was playing it, and right. we would stay up late at night. And she was like, having like the worst shivers because it was really scary. And I would watch and get scared just watching. You yeah. Know? Right. Yeah. No, absolutely. Um, because it's so atmospheric with the music and the tension and long stretches of nothing happening. Of nothing. <laughs> it's just it, it's fun to watch. Yeah. 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 Speaking of E3 and Resident Evil, um, the original group or the original production people that did Resident Evil One and Two, I think. Right. Are working with Bethesda, mm. right? The people Bethesda? who do Doom or Bethesda. Sorry, <laughs> Woo, sorry. Yeah, I was like no. Bethesda. Bethesda. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sorry. It's easy to say, but so Skyrim Bethesda. people. Yeah, mm -hmm. and they're making or they're making a follow up to a game that they released that's actually pretty scary. I just the name is escaping. What me. is is it not? It's not Fatal Outlast. Fame, Alan Wake. No, it's not Outlast. It's um, it's a it's a horror game. Dude, as well. Fatal Frame. That's a classic. Yeah, man. yeah. they should Fatal bring that frame, back. Yeah. Some Alan Wake, some uh, Amnesia. Mm -hmm. You know, I just really love when, like, horror games actually give you, like, a very firm, like, limitation. You know, right. like, with Silent Hill 2, you only had the radio. There was, like, this fog. <laughs> you, and you only had this bat with, like, little nails drilled into Gosh. it. And you Freaky could only baby hit the monsters. thing no, if they're, like, a meter close to you, you know? And you I mean, have to go, I like, tack, 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 And then fear. Yeah. Wow, all those games. Yeah. Fatal Frame is like you exorcise you ghosts by yeah. taking, by taking a, picture a picture of them, but yeah. you can only see them through the camera, so you don't it's know so where crazy. they are. That's fucking yeah. scary. Yeah. yeah. Well, Those games, you, some of them I have to play as a group because like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't you can't just play by yourself. I know. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Momo! Oh my god, there's a Momo! There's that's a so scary Momo. <laughs> One was like Filipino slang for ghost. Monster. Yeah. Oh, yeah, most, or, yeah, I monster. Yeah, monster, monster, monster ghost. ghost. Monster yeah. ghost. Yeah. General super so cute, supernatural though. being. Yeah. Such yeah. a cute name. <laughs> they should make like a Pixar of like a <laughs> Filipino family that has like a fear of ghosts. And it's like, that oh, Momo. Oh, million Let's dollar do it. Oh, yeah. Pitch it. I think that's that's a million it. dollar idea. Oh my god. And it turns out, well, actually, this is the plot of Monsters, Inc. I think. Uh, <laughs> I know, it's been done. Or, or Totoro. The monsters. <laughs> or Totoro. They, they, they like sustain yeah. themselves. They've done it oh, yeah. on screams. Yeah. Oh, no. Or Totoro. Maybe, it's kind of maybe that, maybe that kid. The land of the dead. Those are Mexicans. Maybe that kid in Monsters, Inc. is Filipino. Yeah, oh. maybe. Her name <laughs> is Boo. That's yeah. kind of That was a very, you know, she could pass for an Asian kid. Yeah. Um, I'm just going through these so, questions. So, yeah. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, E3 next week. Uh, if anybody's going to be there, I shall be there just walking around the floor because, yeah, it's going to be fun. Because um, he's Jonah from because Tomb Raider. Yeah, because it's Jonah, so he gets that privilege. <laughs> Whatever. Can you go to E3 in, in, in Jonah outfit? I don't know if I would ever cosplay do it. Cosplay it. Yeah, why don't you cosplay as yourself? <laughs> that would be hilarious. Know. His it, outfit is so very involved, though, is the yeah, thing. Yeah, Earl, I was, I was wondering that. Like, what? What's it like being at E3, being the voice of Jonah? Do people um, recognize you? Look, nobody has any idea what I look like. So, un un I mean, except for this, the people. This is what he this looks is like, what guys. <laughs> Take a good, hard look, y'all. Yeah, except for the people I like. I work directly Wait, with. Wait, so nobody walks up to you and says, oh, my God, Jonah, can I have your autograph? Um, I mean, if they see me at panels and stuff. Let's just right. pepper the, than that. Hear him if I see you at yeah. Anime Expo, I'm going to do it. <laughs> Let's just pepper because the internet with Jonah, like behind the scenes scenes early. with him. <laughs> yeah. So, and then be like, he's he'll be an E3, find him. Yeah. <laughs> Dress up as yourself. Like, I literally used to go around cons taking pictures with all the Lara Crofts and not telling them who I was. <laughs> and then I would nice. post it on Instagram. <laughs> really? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. So you should post it idea. under Reddit, uh, the subreddit, like, do you even know who I am? <laughs> 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 yeah, of course yeah. there's a sub for that. Why wow. don't you just wear a big-ass name tag that, that says, says, I'm Jonah, bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll see. I'm the Jonah, bitch. 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 Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly how they'll yeah. know. Yeah. Please wear the mocap suit. Yeah. We, should, we should wear the mocap suit. Oh. Street ball it oh too. Yeah. <laughs> like I just people. I only uh, like run into people if I've worked with them before, and they're the only ones that know who I look, what I look like. Oh, so come who you look like? Who I look like? Why don't you, like why don't you call uh, okay. Laura Croft and be like, hey, you want to go to E3 together, go, together? Together as ourselves. Yeah, yeah. yeah. cosplay oh my God. as your characters. Last year. Like we walked up and down the t the uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider line, like saying hi to people. Wait, and who's like, we? You and uh, Lara? Me and yeah, Camilla. Uh, okay. 
<laughs> so we walked up and down the line, like shaking hands with people and being like, like, oh, hi, I'm, thank you for playing the game. Uh, we didn't shoot it. <laughs> but No, I mean, we did it as part of publicity for the game. But um, um, I, I felt weird. I was like, does anybody even care? I, yeah. They don't did, know who I am. Did they, did they recognize her? I mean, yeah, they did. I mean, she's on Grey's Anatomy, so, you yeah. know. Mm, I'm just some is. dude. Yeah. But you're on support of white parents, okay? Which is on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 uh, okay. They're probably like, who's this guy with her? <laughs> <laughs> so is that like, a fan who guy? follows her around. Uh, she was like dressed in the nines, and I'm like in a t-shirt and like jeans. See, that's your own fault, Earl. I know. Nobody, I didn't know. Nobody asked for that. Step up. You guys step up. I was literally. I was gonna. I was like, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. It's do called a interviews. blazer, Earl. They're like, is yeah. that her step boyfriend? Up. I have one uh. of those. I know. Glow up. <laughs> Glow, up. <laughs> Glow up. Yeah. Glow up. One day. One day. I'm gonna hire a stylist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah right. Just get a cosplay, uh, like costume designer to dress you up. Yeah. yeah. That's Jonah. Do we oh have to gosh. do this for you, Earl? I, I have don't. a Lara cosplay. Like, <laughs> yeah. I could literally make something for you as well. Oh, yeah, 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 for yeah. Anime we'll Expo. Do I'm down for, for Anime yeah. Expo. Anime Expo. Expo? Expo. I'm down anime for Anime Expo. Yeah. Version of Anime Expo. Mm-hmm. No, but seriously. Yeah. Into, into you should it. I think it's a lot easier character. to make a mock-up uh, mocap suit for you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, fuck. Like, that's yeah. something. You know? It'll oh, stick man, out. It's going to take me like, all Who are you? I'm Jonah. <laughs> in mocap. Do you not play this game? I'm yeah. a mocap actor. <laughs> <laughs> I could be anybody. Now I'm Joel. Now I'm Chris Redfield. Now I'm Jonah. You're Laura. Laura. Now she's smog. He's Benedict. He's Benedict. Come to the Benedict never really now showed up to the. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if he actually put on a mocap suit and did the whole dragon crawling thing. He did. I think he did. Uh, he did. Behind he the did. There's, there's footage yeah. behind the scenes. Oh, it's great. He was, oh, that's so he was really yeah. into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's I love on his it. belly. He was totally method acting. Yeah. Yeah. Totally into oh, it. I love it. Have it. Yeah. I love it. Contortions in the face are great. great. Was he also crawling on gold? He was. No. Yeah, it's just what I do. Um, yeah. But he was, it was, no, he was crawling on uh, a gridded floor. Aww. It's much less adventurous <laughs> than you. In his mind, it Arab was gold. Gold. So, um, uh, yes. <laughs> See you yesterday. This is a movie. Which I totally finished. <laughs> we all totally, we finished, all totally this finished this movie. Did you, yeah. watch, did you watch it? We all totally finished this movie. Am I the only one that finished it? Oh, man. Next topic. I'm just kidding. No, it's a great concept. Did you right. watch it? Great concept. So no, really I saw the trailer. <laughs> I was planning to watch it. But, and I yesterday. read a couple of reviews. So, Earl, tell yeah. us about the movie. <laughs> really, yeah, really quick. Uh, See You Yesterday is a film uh, that re- was released on Netflix. Um, it was actually uh, an extended version or a, you know, a feature film length version of a short film. Of a student film, right? Yeah, yeah. that was oh. released in 2017, yeah. which is what I learned after reading of the IMDb. Wow. Lucky, <laughs> lucky <laughs> student. Yeah, because yeah. Spike Lee, he was one of Spike mm-hmm. Lee's students yeah. at the uh, NYU film, yeah. film school. Oh. This is directed by Spike Lee. And well, produced. No, 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 produced. Produced, produced oh, okay. by Spike Lee. Produced by Spike Lee. So it, it feels like it has a stamp on it. Yeah. yeah. It definitely you know, like does. I'm sure he was it, mentoring him and yeah. like kind of guiding him. You know, he really him. directed yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, no, the I mean, director and Stan- Spike Lee yeah. was like, yeah, I think what you should really you should do. You try to do <laughs> Why know. don't you Watch do you this? Uh, this would be a better shot if you I would did. like, no, but I think The Knicks are the best. <laughs> yeah. So I, I, I watched That's the first half, right. admittedly, yeah. and I will watch the latter half later, but it really, like, harkened back to do, do the right thing. You know, even yeah. down to it the... definitely had that feel. You know, the... Right. Uh, you know, Rastafari guy, like Rastafarian guy. Oh, yeah, yeah the Coming guy down, is, selling stuff. Yeah, reminded yeah, me yeah. of... Uh, uh, what's his, uh, Roger Smith's character in Do the Right Thing where he goes like oh do you want to buy a picture you know yeah. so there was like so many little hints there's I a lot like. of little nods like that yeah and I wonder if this student that wrote this like because he knew Stan, uh, Spike Lee was his like professor instructor was like kind of wrote his script and catered it yeah. to attract the eyes of Spike Lee. I mean, it's possible. Well, well he was a which student. Is smart. Yeah, he was a student yeah, at so NYU. He could also be like influenced by his mentor. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. right. Yeah. I mean, the the synopsis of the story is that um, uh, a, a high school student and her best friend they invent time travel, mm-hmm. and then um, 
Well, the pseudoscience is like it's the so technical balance. Yeah. It's, 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 it's hilarious. Like some the of it, liquid from the <laughs> protons. <laughs> some of it is like, like I'm sitting there, I'm like, like none of that made sense. <laughs> yeah. None of it. It's like, it's like tachyon fields in Star Trek, but yeah. worse. Oh. But they're um, using basically Back to the Future time yes. philosophy. Right. Right. philosophy yeah. Which yeah. Avengers yeah. Endgame Which have said. Right. Is. No, the whole <laughs> pretty much said, nah, that's not how it works. Right. But. Thank but you. it's always fun when you see like a, a movie go full into the yeah, techno battles. Yeah, of course. It's it's, yeah. it's, it's yeah. fun. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sorry, what were you gonna say? No. Uh, um. Wait. Did you say that the science they're basing this off of is the Back, back to, to the, the Future, future science? time logic? Top- top- yeah. Is it it's the same time logic? Yeah. yeah, it's the same kind of logic of like, oh, you go back because in time, you change something, and then like you like, can't like, occupy the same space as yeah. Yeah. right. Yeah. But yeah. but I thought the Back to the Future time logic is supposed to be pretty consistent with actual like physical like if time travel were real like Michio Kaku this world famous physicist physicist. said that it would be just like Back to the Future really yes so it's actually he said Back to the Future gets it the most accurate out of all the other Hollywood what about it does gets it like does it is it like, I don't the actual it? hard science itself yeah. is non-existent so there's nothing to get right there but right. the way in which they're actually time traveling that is supposed mm. to be as accurate as uh, they could possibly get. as phys- physical in back to the future phys- <laughs> theorists yes so back to the future not interstellar <laughs> interstellar had hella plot holes and yeah. lots of like gaps in science but amazing sound but, quality yeah. oh so but good great sound soundtrack design was Hans freaking Zimmer. amazing yeah. uh yeah. Well, also, Interstellar was a little uh, different because it was mm. it was more about time dilation, as right? Time and black holes. Black right. Holes. Um, this one, their uh, backpack is supposed to c- uh, simulate a wormhole. Is right. what they said. Mm. You know, so so that might be what they're talking. Is there a wormhole though in Back to the Future? No, no, they're no. Just, just using traveling the DeLorean. In time. Yeah. yeah, it's just like whatever you change in the 19, 1950s the yeah. when Affects you travel future, back right. yeah it's the future mm. yeah okay as opposed yeah. to the theory Hello. that like when you you create a splinter yeah, the yeah. like in this one theory. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The yeah yeah so in, yeah in marvel you yeah. just create a splinter but when you go back to the future you, mm-hmm. you just go back to your original future and that was right. not correct were people like hating you don't go that? back you don't go to the splinter mm. yeah you can't do that you go, yeah. Yeah. yeah all right. you do is create a splinter but gotcha. you don't live in that splinter mm. you, gotcha. you belong to your own timeline gotcha. yeah okay. yeah but it's all affected by what you did in the past but back right. to the yeah. future's yeah. theory yeah. is that you do you There's do something here timeline. and you end up right. in that splinter mm. uh-huh it, it affects the future it, well it affects your future because that's where you end when you go back to the future uh-huh. you go to that when future. you go back to the future you go yeah. to your own future as opposed to you don't go to your future you go to the splinter future uh, oh, right, so time is all it's <laughs> sorry a bunch of like time sorry, wibbly, to, wibbly wobbly kind of you know of stuff. like a wrinkle in time you see right. back to the future yeah. like he um for example he uh like biff ended up getting the time almanac yeah. right okay so yeah. in almanac. the future he Gray goes back to the future yeah. And then now Biff is a millionaire or billionaire so because does change their his timeline. There's mm-hmm. only Michael one J. Fox's timeline, only one. Yeah. as opposed to in the Avengers, where it's split off. So that's probably not how the universe works. Yeah. Is what people are saying. Oh, I mean, it's, it's all theory. It's, it's, it's all theory. Of course, yeah. yeah. Is also a theory. Yeah, yeah, it's also a theory that they say there's evidence for. Like yeah. there's ec- ghost echoes of like you know. The Hig- yeah. when they discovered the Higgs boson, yeah, they were right. that was seven years ago. Right? Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, the God they particle. Were, yeah, the God particle. Yeah. They were talking about how that could. They were using that as as a possibility f- uh, for, for as proof. An, a, another for another. another yeah. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. And then there's this other time doctor named Doctor Talents that uh, just says time yeah. is. Uh, <laughs> I heard time. he's uh, been out of this. Walter Talents. Yeah, Walter. Yeah. Yeah. That uh, it's just time travel is just not real, anyways, because <laughs> right. time is a fictional. Uh, construct. That, construct that we created. Time to, is a side effect. To, that, yeah. But yeah. one cannot deny that the laws of it's like, just a passing of the light di- of the sun that ro- we rotate around. That we we it call just progresses. It time. Okay, we are, so oh, time Humans happens are all at once. Ephemera. So you can't go back. It's we not a linear. There's no the yeah. It's universe. not linear because it Sorry. is. It, it happens all it's at just once. Just happening. It's, okay, gotcha. And then time we just created like oh to track the to track the. Okay, the sun. so uh, speaking of like tracking the sun. Right. <laughs> so if you're going back in time, do you end up at exactly the same place that you went back in? You know that you came from, or are you correct? Somewhere and else? if you that's yeah, right. that's another yeah, thing. That's so right. if you travel back in time, like yeah. let's say you travel thing, but your the planet Earth is out like, here, oh, then yeah, you yeah. show up in the middle of dead space and you're yeah, dead. Right. Anyway. You, have to, you have to count for that. Physical space. Mm. Yeah. Right. And so, and, and it's to really just time in, yeah. in like uh, position in space. Yeah. yeah. Right. The space best. The only way you can really technically travel in time is you follow the light that came out of the sun that hit the Earth. Yeah. That's passing through. Then you follow it way out in the space. That that 
was single because that's what you're really tracking that light particle that left the sun and hit the earth or Wait, and or go past at such the earth. a velocity where you're actually moving forward into time yeah you can so that if you had a twin back on earth and you you uh, go like travel that's at different. light speed. That's mm-hmm. space that's, travel. But, yeah, and that's, that's time dilation. But it is kind of like time yeah. dilation, you, right? But you yeah. can yeah. go forward, but you can't go back. Like, it, that's what I mean. You can, yeah. hit, the, you forward, can hit the wormhole and you can be back. like, you when can cut your travel together, time. It's opposite but in Earth, you know. it's still the same time. Uh, we're trying to talk about physics here. <laughs> 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 Not your little song. Sorry. Little song. Just, cool. just took over. Yeah. Just that, just what was wow. his name? Scat Cat? Scat Cat, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right. So cool. there, in, in your mind, you traveled back in time, I did. which is but, probably but, the only time you can yeah. travel back in time. So um, in <laughs> Seeing <laughs> Yesterday. Yes, exactly. In Michael J. Fox makes a cameo. Which was awesome. I did like that great Scott bit. I thought that was so cheesy. I was like, <laughs> really? Great, great Scott. Scott. Great he goes, Scott. great Scott. I was like, I was like, was, on the oh, so he was that. playing that was Dr. Brown. So cheesy. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like, he's like, do I have to say it? It's in a script. But the fact that he's there yeah. and then he talked about cute. Yeah, 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 it. Yeah. I enjoyed it. Well, I mean, like, what makes See You Yesterday uh, unique is definitely still like the. What I think, what, yeah, what is unique is the the it's the per, people of color mm-hmm. is perspective, yeah. right? And yeah. the, Absolutely, yeah. the wrongs they're trying to make, yeah. right? It's like right. the social right. issues that they're trying to correct. Like, right. Which is it's a little, the it's kids, a little heavier. Yeah, yeah. The kids it is that definitely are heavier. Inventing time travel, they're both black, and like yeah. the main character the Brooklyn, CJ's, right? Yeah, the main character or, CJ's like yeah, older Flatbush. brother yeah. is the one who you know so dies I could, under yeah. police violence, which is a very very real relevant issue, and real you know? issue. And like what she's trying to reverse is essentially her brother's death. And then it's a question of it's like, dark and AF. it's a question of like, what's fate and like, what are you supposed to do and right. what are you like how to things or is it is it supposed to mean, mean to right. Right. or should yeah. you yeah. even try? Yeah, yeah. You for know. people who didn't finish the movie, we're getting pretty far into the themes here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, spoiler alert. That's I mean well because I just right now as we were sitting here I went to the future (laughs) watched it (laughs) came back I'm not going to talk about anything past where everybody is it's yeah I mean that's basically what you're you've all gotten to that part where you well I got to the part where the brother died right it's it's essentially. Back to the Future meets Black Lives Matter well no I'm thinking the pitch is Back to the Future meets Do the Right Thing. I, I is how they would pitch it. The right thing a lot, but it, it does have a lot of Black Lives Matter. Like, Radio Rahim, you know, it? even down to the yeah. protests, <laughs> down to everything. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that, 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 that is Black Lives Matter, you know. Yeah. Um. But it was cool, like um, seeing yeah. these these kids aspire to like MIT. To yeah. spell them in more house, I was like, "That's dope." It was Nobody cool because I expected it to be like, you know, it's like a teen show or something, yeah. Yeah. but like. You know, the first couple of minutes, they're like, fuck this shit. I was like, oh, they're like saying F bombs. <laughs> shit like, up. Yeah, shit. Like, That's shit, shit your fuck. face. And then like N word. That's, That's how it is. Shit on your butt. That's how it is in the hood. I don't bang. Mm-hmm. Okay. Who's, uh, who's what you claim? First? What you claim? I oh, know yeah, her. That dude. Church is chicken. Yeah. <laughs> But I dug. I she's like, he's not my first. What is he talking yeah, about? Yeah, she, like, <laughs> she smacks the shit out of him. I, I, I like know, this. and she was getting all hood on him, yeah, and yeah. like that shit. He was like making out with that hoodie rat in front of him. I was uh, like, my gosh. Just, she just, had a fanny pack, you guys. She had a fanny pack. It's just hood rat, not hoodie rat. Uh, sorry, hood rat. <laughs> Excuse my French. Can we get a uh, artist rendition of a hoodie rat? Oh God, I, I, I know, I know it's hood rat. I misspoke. So for it's all a hood our, rat. Uh, I just want right there. Draw There's an artist out there. You have a rat, but only from the top. Up. Splinter <laughs> wearing I heels. I know it's hood rat. I'm, but like now, I want it to be my okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> so uh, anyway, I I would recommend at least watch you know watching see you yesterday for anybody out there. I enjoyed it. Um, when maybe we'll talk about it next week or something when everybody is. Uh, How was the soundtrack? Um, the soundtrack was very reminiscent of um, Back to the Future. Oh yeah. So like the uh, the score yeah. I think also to just just to put a cap on it. Right. I, I really do think it's really important to support those kind of things because it's, right, absolutely. Of course. It's so unique. We don't see people original of color mm-hmm. in science fiction portrayed in mm-hmm. original properties too. Original even. properties yeah. Yeah. Pr- portrayed in in such a way where you know these kids are like extremely smart. Yeah. Right. They're in the STEM. You know things like that. But then mm-hmm. also they're still dealing with you know very very real issues that mm-hmm. affect people of right. color specifically and it's just yeah. like yeah. to see something like that to be on like netflix of all you know places it's right like, no it's, it's definitely something to definitely support and yeah. you know uh yeah. for, for what i saw i you know you know i'm 
30 minutes from finishing it. Mm-hmm. But uh, it's, you know, it's definitely one of those things that really impressed me in the sense that it's just like, it's so unique and it's just really important to, to support that kind of like diverse geekiness, you know? Right. Because yeah. yeah. that's what we're at about too. No, and I, I just really yeah. like the concept of it just being in the, you know, aside from people of color, but the, from the urban, you know, perspective too. Like right. mm-hmm. city kids. It's not like, the right. suburban kids exactly. yeah. inventing Cause something back in the whatever was like hell so <laughs> yeah. cuz like you could yeah. cuz it it could be like a black kid or a Hispanic kid or Asian kid in the suburbs it's still like nah it's still Dude. boring to me like it, but it being like them being in the inner city right. mm-hmm. and like doing stuff at a science high school yeah. come yeah. on that's yeah. cool i think bless that I thought, bless you. I thought that was awesome bless Salud. bless you Thank you. <laughs> the the dude that is after like like pining for uh the main character He's oh, hilarious. The Puerto Rican the Puerto, uh, guy. Yeah, 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 <laughs> oh, yeah. that guy. Yeah. He annoyed me. He he will at first, but um, he gets better. He busts kind of like a Steve from uh, Stranger Things. Oh. oh. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, spoiler <laughs> alert. <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah. Steve. She hasn't finished watching no. season two. So. I mean, I'm far enough in. No, you're not. <laughs> oh no, you're not. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. All right. If, one, if you happens. haven't finished the uh, this, the all of season two. I have like yeah. two more episodes. But Steve was great after season one, too, anyway. I don't like Steve. He's a douche. Well, oh, yeah. just I'm, I think I'm not going to watch. Just, just watch. Just watch the rest just of these. Just watch the rest. <laughs> Before July 4th. Um, Which so is also on Netflix. It is. It's going to be on Netflix, Stranger Things. Um, so, uh, the last item up on, up for bid. <laughs> on the docket. Yeah, on the docket is uh, the last watch documentary. Yeah. Last watch doc. Last watch doc. So, uh, mm. this is a documentary about the production of uh, the last season of Game of Thrones. Mm-hmm. So, not the special, not the post production, not the VFX and all that stuff, not pre production when they're writing it, but the actual production, like building sets and extras, and extras background, and camera work, camera work, like all scenery. that stuff. Or, I'm um, sorry, atmospheric actors. Atmospheric actors. <laughs> extras. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, uh, so we. Us three, Walter, Jen, and me, we saw most of it together. Yeah, and yeah, and then I had to leave, and then Walter watched all. Pretty of Pretty much the watched rest. it later today. Right. It was quite long. Yeah, it was longer. How, than how I much thought. longer did, did we have to? Uh, I think there was another thirty minutes. <laughs> oh, that's not. Too oh, that's bad. not too bad. Yeah. But but uh, yeah. But yeah, uh, some key moments I guess that stood out to me. They briefly showed you know um, this flashback from season one, episode one of the table read. The table read. And you got read. to see how much younger all these actors were. It's and crazy. Young, hot Kit Harrington and young hot hey. Amelia Clark. And I'm all about Mace Williams is just a little Richard girl Madden. right there. Sorry. So hot old Kit Harrington. Yeah, what's yeah. up, man? And then they flash back to the future, of course. And then like Kit Harrington <laughs> at the table read did not know like how Daenerys was going to die. Sorry. Oh, he, he hadn't read it ahead of time. No, Even though I don't think he read that he chose not to read it. Right. Even though they all got the they all got the scripts three days ahead of time. He chose not to. So then he was like freaking out at this table read and like going like, oh my God. In a now viral video. Amelia looks to him and goes like, yeah, I know. Yeah, that's crazy. So yeah, it looks like Amelia read her script. Oh, yeah. She talks about in interviews how she read the script, found out her character dies, took her keys, walked out of her house, and didn't come back till three hours later. Jesus. Yeah, she was. She said when she came back, she was still in a daze, and she couldn't believe. Is this the one where she calls yeah. her mom? She yeah, called she up calls her, her mom, mom. and her, like, her sister and yeah. shit. Taco Bell. And she was like, do you think yeah. Daenerys is a bad person? Mm-hmm. And they were like, what the fuck are you asking? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah because like, she couldn't so really, right. she couldn't tell them what happened. Yeah. So like, do you think they're like, vague, she was vaguely talking person? to them. Yeah. yeah. Apollo, do you watch Game of Thrones? I will have my Goonies moment. No, I don't. Oh. <laughs> do you have any interest in watching it? Oh uh, yeah, no, like I do. Because we're like, no, no, no. It's it spoilers. One spoilers don't work on me. Okay, cool, cool, right, cool. So that's perfectly fine. Cool. I can like read about something. Like, oh, hey, that's cool. I want to see it. Okay. Oh. Cool, cool, cool. And I just never really like jumped on in the beginning because so much good TV and so much shows yeah. are going right. on. Right. There's this a like ton the of yeah. Show. So this is the show. The show. Like, yeah. the, it was one of those like, oh, I'll catch up to it. The best thing on TV. Right. For six seasons, it was, it was really like, this is amazing. So, I mean, yeah. you know. Oh, so back to the doc. I mean, like, most of it was spent talking about how difficult that Long Night episode was. Just the coordination. To shoot. The production coordination yeah. was, was insane. I can imagine. Really it's a battle with, scene. Yeah. Know? Yeah. So. 
I was also really impressed with the amount of like women that were in the production team. You know, Very much like so. the production coordinator, the I think one uh, of their big producers is a, a woman. Yeah. Exactly. One of the yeah. Badass man. I was like, she great, was, yeah, so she great was to like. Whip. She reminded me of like Francis McDormand. The yeah, location in, uh, manager. Three, three billboards, billboards on the side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So to she reminded me. She was totally Francis. Right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It was really cool. And then there was like a special guy who was there just to make snow. snow. <laughs> the snow man. Oh, and I he's want like that this job. nerdy black man with yeah. these uh, What I love is the irony, <laughs> the irony gotta, of the I snowman being a black snow. guy dude. <laughs> like from Jamaica. It's where there's you, Where there's no snow. Uh, <laughs> he's from Jamaica? Yeah, he's from ja- he's oh, wow. Jamaican, uh, British or whatever like he's that. He's yeah. so right, enthusiastic his about his snow. He's like, you can Jamaican. just like but dust it a little bit. They also competed in bobsled, <laughs> so it makes sense. I mean, yeah. Jamaica got a bobsled Were you guys there when they focused more on him about how he was an orphan and how this... Yeah, he talked about that a little bit before he left. Oh my God. So okay. he was yeah. an orphan. Then he, when he got out, he. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is all he knew. He was in foster homes his entire life. Yeah. Wow. And so, yeah. but he started working in production, and he's like, "Oh, as long as like." Snow. <laughs> <laughs> I think he just fell. He just fell into we it, and like, snow. but he was just like, "I just need to work this hard to progress." And he just they he wow. had a really good work ethic, and they kept hiring him over and over. That's nice. so great. I forgot. I, I'm not sure how he re- specifically got into snow in particular. <laughs> but Game of Thrones. I feel like man, he probably yeah. started off in like set dressing. He was, yeah, yeah, he was probably art. art he's yeah. so good at dressing those sets. I know. Like, he he did snow. this. Yeah, he you did this one snow. winter play. <laughs> yeah. 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 He did the Nutcracker. Did you guys see Steve Snowwork? Yeah, and they're like, how you put that snow on that door frame? I think we can expand this to a movie set. Game of Thrones. Look at this consistency yeah, it's amazing talent. Mm-hmm. <laughs> really mister you think I can make it you got moxie kid oh <laughs> no. my God. I would have never guessed it but you got a British accent you want a job I'll give you a job <laughs> <laughs> yeah so I had no idea that the Night King is actually what the stunt, the stunt captain the yeah. stunt coordinator the stunt coordinator is the Night King and like it, it was makes sense. Well, it wasn't, yeah, not at first, but then no, he got eventually, eventually, yeah. He got the jab. He got yeah. the jab. He got the jab. And I it's mean, actually yeah. his face that we see get turned into the Night King by the Children of the Forest. Right, right. Oh, oh that's the head stunt coordinator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he's the rest handsome. of the time, it's him, too. <laughs> yeah. He's, yeah. A, he's, a, he's a Czech guy. Like he's kind of handsome. He's yeah. a Czech Republic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, he, what was it? He immigrated or something like that. Like, he... He was telling he was telling his story how he got into all his friends were gangsters. Yeah, and he gangsters, like, I can't, and he oh, he decided to. Then it sounds like they really went in depth. They went like, in for some people. I yeah, they really, really, really cool. Like they and a lot of his yeah, a lot of the yeah. friends he grew up with are, are dead now because they oh, wow. started to join like yeah. um, drugs. The, the Ukrainian and like, Russian yeah, law right. probably and like and get involved in the criminal underworld where he decided to like no, I'm gonna pursue stunts. I'm gonna do stunts and like joined like. In the art world. Yeah. So he, yeah, he got the fuck out. Yeah. Have you ever done stunts, Walter? I feel like you've done everything in film. I feel like you'd I've be done, a stuntman. I've done some stuff, yeah. Okay, but that's not like stunt stunts. Like you've never been yeah. on fire. No, I, no, that's because that's a whole different. You got to get yeah. a certification right, for certain exactly. things like that. I did yeah, yeah. squib work once. Squib. Yeah. That's um, Harry like Potter. You, yeah. Yeah, where yeah. they put What's explosives that? on like, you. Yeah, yeah, and you yeah, make it look like you got shot. Out of like, yeah. Oh my god! Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah. Or it makes you. It looks. That looks like you actually got shot. It's crazy. I was, a, yeah, there yeah. was squibs all over my body, and they were like, uh, hey, go, no, just shake. Don't it's it's because you said you don't bend. Oh, no. I know. I know. Like every movie you can think of where someone gets shot. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not going to tell you what it is. Oh, <laughs> it was a long time ago. It was come like on. back in 2010. Yeah. I, Who was the director? IMDb? Oh, yeah, I was going to say, that, that's I guess, easy. Yeah, IMDb-able. Look at, you can look at, because there's not a lot of credits on my IMDb. You can kind of <laughs> guess which one it is. I'm oh, pretty, oh, look at okay. So you might as well just tell us. Well, look. Or uh, you don't want to, yeah. okay. I don't want to, I don't want to like publicize <laughs> this. Okay, gotcha. gotcha. Right. Um, but also, there was that uh, couple, right? The husband and wife the who customers. worked on set as the, she was so as cute. the makeup uh, and the, the uh, prosthetics. prosthetics. And okay, special no, effects I kind of do yeah. want to watch this now. The because wife, hear you guys talk about uh, it. It's, it's really yeah, I, just, I can't so bring so myself to watch this freaking the wife was The wife no, is so cute, I mean, just the way she was, too. I mean, They're, okay, uh, let me address Caitlin right. real yeah, quick. Yeah, I just hated you can, what happened. I mean, you can hate what happened, but these are some of the best production yeah. artists it's in true. the world. You, it looks amazing. Right. Yeah. This documentary and it's about them. does yeah. them justice. It's not, yeah, it's yeah. Not, it has nothing to do with the writers or how yeah. the, or the writers were messed up or what happens in the show. It doesn't negate their quality. 
quality of work. I the, honestly yeah. am so glad that this existed because okay. like the amount of sacrifices people these artists yeah. do yeah. need to yeah. see yeah. this. Happens. If you yeah. see right. the yeah the coordination and like how just the outside world and how they when they built the Westeros like invasion set mm-hmm. and like the oh, shit that, the crap yeah the yeah. crap go, that went around oh, in it Croatia. the and then the the no no the Ferris wheel it started building being built near it and like the noise. Yeah, you'll you'll you oh, have to watch it to understand. Oh, you right. probably didn't oh. see. Yeah, and just even w- showing the 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 um sorry the the Winterfell the battle for mm-hmm. Winterfell right. uh, long night. scene long the night. long night. I, I mean, I knew exactly because I've worked like night sets where it's raining, it's wet, and it's. And Sucks. I've done like two or three days of that. Right. Yeah. But they literally, I think they did it for a month. 11 weeks. Over a month. Wow. Yeah. yeah, 11 weeks. Over a month. So, I mean. 11 nights. weeks? That's like two. No. Almost like two three and months. months. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. It oh, sucks. Like nights from like 8 p.m. Yeah. calls to 6 a.m. Because when it's, I mean, you can't really do many scenes when it's yeah. wet and rainy because yeah. just the movement of like equipment and all that yeah. stuff right. sucks. Yeah. So God. they just kind of even just they hint upon that mm-hmm. the hard work and just you see like yeah. how all these people are slogging through the They're mud so wow. tired and it's just amazing yeah um, that's what i was saying with the husband and wife right because they had a little baby girl at yeah. home yeah and it was so sad because like, like the, the mom would skype so. in with her like baby girl and go like hi you know and then like she would check in with her and then the camera would follow her and like ask her like oh you know when are you gonna see her next and she's like oh yeah i'm gonna go check in and see what they're doing you know like you could tell she was like trying she not to, to talk cry about it right? yeah. she didn't want to talk about it there was oh, so fair. much work for them to do you know and it was the husband yeah. and wife team that are out so there. yeah both of them are out yeah, yeah. they're the costumers uh, the effects special makeup. effects makeup oh special effects and makeup. they did a lot of work too like yeah. the winterfell crypt zombies they right. did and then they had to show like yeah. the producers for the first time All the and, like, and what but I hope they like it I, I'm curious are yeah. there any people working on the show who've been there the whole time like since season the, one or there was the, the background well right? the background actor oh. I think that the, they oh, feature the Stark soldier the Stark soldier <laughs> yeah. well, I read about he was that in it like guy. from day one yeah, yeah. 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 no he was, way he, was he started extra. off as Baratheon soldier <laughs> oh this guy but they like yeah. but they, they've gone into clicks where some of these guys are like they've they're, they all they work are Stark soldiers, and they oh. come into like, and they talk about how they get these production jackets. It's so made, dope. Yeah. The production and they're jackets, just like, oh. jackets if you're a Stark, ass. you're Stark, and then they give you a crap if you if you come around wearing a Bolton jacket, oh. <laughs> like because like the Boltons will have their jacket, Lannisters yeah. will have their jackets. Yeah. 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 it's like for it's real. It's like the hood, you guys. Yeah, they have their own Those like jackets. clicks Bang and gangs. Um, and then I think <laughs> that's exactly what the hood was like. Caitlin. And they're like, exactly. what clan are you from? Like, what well, clan I, are you I from? I don't bang. I don't bang. I'm a snow. I'm a snow. I'm a snow. Are you, I'm are you from I'm the blood sad. gang? <laughs> I don't or the have crypt? regions. <laughs> the crypt zombies. What clan are you from? Are you the crypt gang or the blood gang? <laughs> are you a crip or a blood? That's exactly what it's like. In the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Growing up in that I see her I see her wearing a red kilt. Oh, you see his heart. 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 You're wearing a red kilt. You must be a blood gang. I mean, that's what it's like. I think the wig. Accurate. Accurate. Yeah. I think the wig. Yeah. <laughs> I think the woman uh, who did the wigs, oh, I think she's so she nuts. may have been from the very start. Yeah, right. yeah. Oh wow. Because and she like yeah. the hair's been with her this whole time. She they were even yeah. commenting like how I think it's even the hair there's like it's in its last leg like cuz yeah. she's been using yeah, the I same Yeah, she was the cuz she had she scrolled there's at one point where yeah, she scrolled she had through, her phone, through all the and she uh, showed looks. like the picture right. of the very first all the reference like, pictures yeah. Yeah, for the, the, the wigs first time that yeah. wow. I read the wigs were like thou- like thousands yeah. of dollars each oh yeah they oh, are wow. amazing. like 10,000 bucks Dude, yeah how they put on the it too cuz it's not even I mean that is Daenerys part of it it goes halfway to the forehead too it's partially a prosthetic like so it's real like so you could see the roots it looks like real hair yeah, because yeah. it stops here and then they've just put it's makeup. Probably, it's, it's probably it's like just, a lace wig, which they, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. yeah. It's right. not like a stitched wig the yeah. way no, that we no. apply for it's cosplay. It's super. It's literally, I think like somebody attached like so hair. Hair. Yeah, yeah. Hair. It's, wow. it's legit. To which is why it's like, like, like real hair. $10,000 yeah. right. yeah. yeah. for the wigs. And mm. That's why the roots look real. Yeah, yeah. It came from some. I mean, because Amelia Clark is a brunette, you know, they have to hide all that dark hair that she had for seasons. I All those actresses, they got to be up at like three in the morning every morning just to do the hair. Yeah. And I mean, too bad that the Indian girl who donated that hair is not getting royalties. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know that, Walter. <laughs> Most likely. <laughs> High probability. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs>
Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, but uh, no, so seriously. I'm sticking to the same thing. Don't yeah. worry. Like, I know where you're going. I'll say it, man. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, I will what, watch this. Yeah, watch it's it. It's worth a watch. It's cool. it's, it'll be oh, my last the watch. End yeah. is, That's oh, what it's called. I don't want to ruin it, but like. The end was worth it too, when I, when I watched it. Oh, and it, cause it damn. Okay, we'll watch it and right. then we'll watch the end. Okay. I don't. Uh, I don't want to ruin. It. But the ending and like the farewells oh. was. Get out of here with that shit! Yeah, I don't care. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm glad yeah. oh. emotional. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, know. I didn't think, but yeah, there was something that bothered me in, in the really? air. What like while I was watching it, like it just. I, it started. made you start to <laughs> tear It started like, raining in the room. Oh, allergy. yeah. 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 My yeah. Allergies, yeah. Allergies, yeah. Kick, yeah. allergies kicked in. Yeah. I was like, why are my eyes spitting? Please don't oh. make that face, Walter. <laughs> <laughs> Who's cutting up onions? Someone spat, spat in my, in my eye. eye. Yeah. What face? <laughs> Your face right now is so... Oh. This? <laughs> You're like... <laughs> I, can you how's it go? How's I it look? I don't know. I can't do ugly. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So what are you doing now? It's like a nut tap. Hi, like, Mrs. Talent. <laughs> I'm going to bring this back. Oh, Three episodes. Oh, oh, uh, I'm going to step back over there. No, I oh, tease my hard. God. Oh, my God. Um, it was so funny to my see hair. like Kit Harrington go to Spain, and he was like, yeah, they everybody calls me Keith now Keith. because oh, all the Spaniards. Yeah. Right. Were you guys Keith. there? The, the, oh, yeah. And, and then they showed. The window. Window and they're like, Keith. Keith. <laughs> There's a part too where all the background actors are calling him that. Too. Keith, <laughs> like, Keith, everybody Keith. started calling him the Spanish yeah. kid. Oh, <laughs> Spanish God. kid. That's great. I what I like too is the um the Night King and how he was like he was kind of talking about like how he's torn Nobody between. Nobody knows who he is. Well, not just right. that, but like he's now he's torn because now he's actually a principal. He's an actor, right. and yeah. not he's not just a stunt guy. So like yeah. the stunt guys are even giving a hard time. It's like, oh hey, <laughs> you're you're look at you, face guy. Yeah. Mr. Yeah. Mr. 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 Oh, hey, look at this guy. You should be. Should you be hanging out with us? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Making the yeah. big bucks now. Hey, yeah, yeah. Nice. Too nice. cool for us. You're, yeah, he's recognized now. Yeah. He made screen. <laughs> so we should totally make plans to finish the rest of this thing. We yeah. should watch the so the upcoming Game of Thrones pro, uh, uh, prequels. Prequels, yes. yes. Long night, maybe. When it comes Are you guys an audition for that? You actors? Oh, definitely. <laughs> or did they already cast? I think they've already oh, started. Well, I hope not. I Thanks hope for rubbing not, it in, Caitlin. You know. Sorry, I just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Who wouldn't want to be on that show? You know what I mean? I like, it's oh, gonna be the gosh, hottest ticket so in crazy. town. Yeah. Hopefully, no, just tell them you're Jonah from freaking Lara Croft. <laughs> Everybody's gonna be like, what? Tomb Raider, yeah. What is that? Hopefully, they'll have black yeah. folks you in there. You could be from so Nard. <laughs> from <laughs> Nard. Super <laughs> Idols. From Nard. Just me Sunday. Me Sunday's cousin. Me <laughs> Sunday. Your Grey Worms cousin. Yeah, Grey Worms. Grey Worms cousin. Because of your Grey Worms cousin. Your Grey Worms cousin. Black Worm. Damn, you beat me to it. Yeah. I was like, He's a weed smoking cousin from Nard. Yeah. Weed smoking. <laughs> why got? Why I gotta be a weed smoking guy? I don't know. I, just, I get cast as, as potheads all the time. I could so. see that. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I get cast as lesbians. I could see that. I could see that. I mean, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. What? What? I get cast Who? as men and animals. <laughs> I don't know what you just said. So uh, yeah, let's animals. let's all yeah. finish uh, the, last the last watch. watch. Maybe we can. I mean, maybe I don't know if we're gonna talk about it again, but like it's definitely something everybody should, should watch, watch if you're a fan of Game of Thrones. Yeah. Um. But uh, yeah, that's it for our show of most of our show this week. Um, if let's actually go through. Um, does anybody have any recommendations? What are you doing in uh, anything you're watching or playing right now that you're, you're into? Uh, do you want me to start? Whoever. Um, well, I've been watching. Oh yeah, I've been watching. Uh, well, I've been watching Chernobyl. <laughs> that's to be honest. Is it good? Everybody's been saying it's, it's, it's good. Fantastic. It's yeah. It's just. It's deep, like it's not science fiction. It's real. It's uh -huh. nonfiction. It's real. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's just uh, my other favorites is just like political drama kind of stuff. Right. And it's just that, like, it's fascinating to see how this society is so absorbed in like not looking like they can make mistakes. They're like they're right. infallible. Mm. That it's just building upon building upon mistakes because they refuse to admit they're infallible mm -hmm. you know um uh, you mean that they they refuse to admit they're fallible yeah you yeah. know okay. yeah no fallible. is that wrong sorry they refuse, they refuse to, to admit, admit that they're, they're fallible. fallible yeah right yeah 
They think they're or infallible. They, they think they're, think they're infallible. infallible. Yeah. yeah, they yeah. think that's what I'm saying. They're, they think they're infallible. They, they, they can't make mistakes. Right. <laughs> so Semantics. Wait, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but Chernobyl's awesome. But Chernobyl's great. The acting's great. You know, mm. all these really great British actors. Mm. Um, the other thing I was really getting into was uh, um, be my always my maybe. Oh, always I was be gonna my say maybe. That. Be always my maybe. Is that what you're <laughs> saying? Always, be, always, always be my be maybe. My and then maybe. like in, in spirit of uh, Keanu Reeves' character. What the in, in spirit of Keanu Reeves' character. Where are those coming from? <laughs> Wait, don't ruin it for me because I haven't, I haven't seen it. I haven't watched it yet. Oh, I what? Seen it. Oh, well, I was so great music How track. do you not the, find the, the, the music the soundtrack? Right, right, right. Oh, I can't. Okay, okay. so great. you'll, There's you'll get this really reference good. when you watch I, it. I started watching oh, it and I was like, oh, this is no, 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 I feel no, like this is going to hurt. So I turned it off. No, it's actually really good. It's really good. Oh, I think I'm. It's good. Yeah, it's good. Okay, well, don't. Oh, yeah. And last thing, like for the people who like do these watch parties, Mm-hmm. When you go home, watch it or put it in your Netflix. So, like, to, do the thumbs up so it registers as you Double, having seen yeah, it. Also, yeah, yeah. not so when it goes in the metrics of Netflix, mm-hmm. can show whatever, that it shows audience, that people right. are actually oh, watching it. Yeah. Because if yeah. like five of you so and there's, you're only watching on one person's account, mm-hmm. right. it registers as that one person watching it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. And then so let them know those golden, other four people. Open. Yeah. Open. That's a message to my little sister. So, anybody else? Uh, Good Omens on Amazon. Oh, yeah. That's the one with um, David Tennant and... Uh, and uh, uh, I keep forgetting his name, but he's in like everything. Uh, yeah. Michael... Sheen. Sheen, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sheen, the guy who yeah. plays the master in, yes, in Doctor Who. It, right. is, um, it just premiered, and I couldn't stop what watching it. Oh, he was in Underworld. Oh, yeah, he That's was right. in Underworld. He was, the, he was the vampire. Twilight, right? That's him, too. Well, I don't the know. Volturi? I think so. Yeah, one yeah, of the bad yeah, guys Volturi, in Twilight. Yeah. I don't know. The guy that does a little giggle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think that I know you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. And he does that a lot. But good omens. And good yeah. omens. I was uh-huh. supposed yeah. to go uh, see Neil Gaiman at a. <gasps> yeah. He what? Went, yeah, and That's I was awesome. busy that night. God oh, damn it. What? <laughs> yeah. They were doing like um, uh, an early showing, and oh, Neil Gaiman was there, and my friend had tickets, and my oh dumbass my was like. Why yeah. did you call one of us a substitute? Yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't think it was. That's amazing. Yeah, so I almost met Neil Gaiman, but I didn't. Oh my gosh. But yeah, no, yeah. Good One Omens, day. It's it just premiered, and I couldn't stop watching it last night. Right. So it was it's just, you, you it's really it. good. Yeah, I just binged it. I was wow. like, holy crap. Yeah, because I was on my you drive know? here, I also mm-hmm. NPR was interviewing him, and um, yeah, I loved it. And then he talks about his correlation with like, because how he did um, uh, Hitchhiker's Guide. Hitchhiker's right. Guide, yeah. And how he wrote the fi- first 5,000 words mm-hmm. on the on this, the book or whatever like that Got for it. it. Yeah. So, cool. but yeah, yeah, it's... Yeah, Best one of the best bromances in like any media. It's really sweet. Oh. Yeah, yeah. It's and really just listening to his interview, it was interesting. Just the concept of the story of like oh, God, good yeah. devil good and evil, angel, yeah. and who's right and who's wrong. How do you know who's right? Yeah. And what cool if they know what they're doing? Anybody else? Any any recommendations? I mean, he took mine. Sorry. Always be my maybe. <laughs> I was gonna rep that. Always one. maybe baby, baby. All, me? Always baby, my maybe. Always, always baby. baby, my maybe. What? Never, baby, my never don't stop my stopping. My <laughs> 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 no. We're singing that tonight, right? The yeah, yeah, absolutely. Started no. from the bottom, now we're still at the bottom. <laughs> 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 too real. <laughs> so oh, too I do have one recommendation this week. Um, I played a game, an indie game, a few uh, that came out a few years ago, but I just got to it called uh, Brothers: A Tale of Two Sons. Mm. Mm. Short Uh-oh. game, uh, about three hours, um, and the controls are super intuitive. Basically, there's two brothers. You control one with each thumbstick, and then um, all their action. The action button is the trigger for mm. one of each one of the brothers, and you um, solve puzzles like space puzzles, spatial huh. puzzles. With uh, the two brothers as, uh, you know, your two moving points. So they're kind of pushing, pulling. Pushing, pulling. <laughs> One has to, like, release a lever and then, you know, all that stuff. Interesting. And it's, it's, it's a good story. Uh, I will say be ready for some shit. So um, good game. Uh, definitely worth a play, especially if you have, like, an, an afternoon free. Mm. Um, but that's available on all platforms as far as I know. Yeah. Um, mm. yeah. What happened to that book you were reading for the longest time? Uh, the, I, oh. the Dead Girl. Dead uh-huh. Girl. I'm still working on it. <laughs> I was going to say, was she really dead? Like, did we find out what I, happened? I should, look, I'm going to, all right, I'm going to push into that because, like, I started, gosh, I have, like, Game of book, Thrones. Yeah, yeah, Game mm-hmm. of Thrones. And then I started picking up this uh, other book called Gentlemen's of the Road. Wow. And then I picked up, up uh, The Silmarillion again. So, oh, oh, right, oh. right. Always a good read. Yeah. yeah. So, so, 
I'll, I'll work on it. Yeah. Good gotcha. girl. I mean, gotcha. my geeky recs aren't really recs that I have started on, just like two on my to-do list. So I need to play Kentucky Route Zero Ooh. because I just found out that someone I know works on it. And I'm oh. like, oh my gosh. And it's like won a lot of accolades for like being an indie game that's like atmospheric and adventure style and like heavy on storytelling and very like emotional and also right. philosophical. So I want to see that. I want to play that. And then uh, as far as reading goes, I need to read... Um, some like Ursula Lagoon, right? Oh, yeah. which yeah. one? The new Ursula Earth, uh, uh, the sea, uh, Earth Lagoon. Sea, right. uh, the uh, the dispossessed. I think it's is that the, the one where they have like different genders, like a third gender? I don't know because uh, I haven't read, it. <laughs> but I I have been told that I need to read that. So let's, let's read it together. I like yeah, Ursula. Can we do a yeah. book club? Yeah, do we should have a book club. Yeah, book <laughs> can you guys it. read it while I'm trying to go to bed? <laughs> Oh, I know me, Rod needs to sleep. that at Can some point. Can we do point. an erotic, erotica, literaturica <laughs> story as well? That'll work. Yeah. Audio, yeah. Audio, that's okay. Audio, the Wizard of Earthsea. Earthsea. Yeah. Can we read Legend them in, of Earthsea, yeah. yeah. Can we read them in William Shatner's voice? Yes. I, I will still fall Let's asleep to that. Yes. <laughs> and uh, with <laughs> that, everybody, thank you for tuning in to the, what is it, 13th episode? Oh, yeah. 13th Lucky 13. Lucky 13. Come back next Tuesday. See us again, 8 p.m. on twitch.tv slash pangeekery. Hit us up on all the socials, um, Instagram, Twitter, uh, Facebook, at pangeekery. Thank you to our hosts. Hey. Thank and you to the crew host. and our guest host, Paulo. Thank hey, you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah. Thank you to our sponsors, Jimmy John's and PWC, Pilipino Worker Center. Uh, thanks again to the crew. Uh, thank you, you everybody awesome. in chat for uh, chatting it up. Uh, and we will see you on the coast. I'm just kidding. We'll see you next week. <laughs> yeah. What was that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> happy, happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. At Geek Week Podcast, covering all things geek from an all diverse perspective. Visit us online at www.pangeekweek.com.